Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to abuse an overpowered character to win games. Yeah! <laughs> okay, well, kind of. Sort of, I guess, technically. But I also just want to play Vatu because A, he's fun. B, I want to actually get back into the swing of things with him. So C, I can win with him in ranked because, yeah, he is kind of OP and I do want to play him in ranked to win games. So, we have to win games in casuals first before we can do that in ranked. So, if you want to join the first party of the day, then say your name in the chat. I will type your name in here, I'll invite you. Make sure when you say your name, of course, your game is actually open, and you're ready to accept the invite, because sometimes people say their name, and they haven't loaded in, and then they don't accept the invite, and it's very awkward. So, don't be that guy. Uh, let's do Markal Mute. Delta Sapphire. Savage 2. And... Bloody Hack. Bloody Hack! Mate, what's going on here? Well, we're playing Vatu, that's what. So let's queue for Siege. Because, I mean, I, I do have my standards, okay? I don't want to abuse an OP character in Onslaught. That's just mean. But yeah, he is very fun. And like I've said in the past, if EP didn't exist, he'd probably be my main flank because he's just so fluid and fun. He still has his problems. Mo most importantly right now, he's OP. But also, he doesn't have a reload animation cancel, which tends to be very awkward. But, yeah, he's just, he's a very fun champion. And he's a great design, too. The, the devs just don't know how to balance him, apparently. Because, like, they buffed his damage, and he still has DR on dash for some reason. But if they fix both of those things, then he'd be pretty great, I think. You know, he, he actually follows the good design principles of a high-mobility flank, unlike someone else whose name starts with V that I won't talk about right now. One Android training stream and he's already done with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've decided I'm not going to do that. I may be a level 104 Andro, but I'm just going to have to accept that he's not for me. And that most of those levels that I got in the past, you know, they served a purpose, but I shouldn't play him anymore. Alrighty. Mr. Vatu. Mayhem with gold no daggers was requested. You know, it kind of matches, but I still don't really like using the skin combo because the gold on the kunai is just a little bit different to the gold on his armor plating. And also, I just, I really like the Mayhem Daggers, too. This is just one of the best skins ever released, period. It's so good. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Now, let me mark that as complete. Dino mount. Vatu on a dinosaur? All right. There you go. Ooh, and we've got Ray on Bazaar, we've got Yag, we've got Inara. Excellent. <clears throat> I was surprised to see Yagaroth has the highest win rate in the tank class recently. Like, she's always had, like, a pretty decent win rate, but she is literally number one right now. But still has, like, a couple hundred <laughs> matches, just period, so she's still, like, extremely unpopular. But the people who do play her in the right situation with a good amount of skill, they do tend to win games, so good for them. They've got Rom Solo Tank. Oh boy. 
It should be an okay team to dive, though, except Kana's on the enemy team first match of the day. I can't even get a warm-up match without mm -hmm. Kana and XSCB stream sniping me. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> Today I woke up and chose violence. Yes, Vatu. Well, I'm going to play Omnipresence because that's my favorite talent to play with this champion. And I am going to uh, immediately rush armor plating because, yikes, uh, possibly on trikes. <laughs> Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. And the rando's playing Sati, which is just difficult to dive. At least I'm playing a flank that's mostly okay versus Ray's envelop, but that's still going to be a chore to fight. Karmic Retribution. This is what I get for abusing an OP champion in casuals. I get Kana abusing another OP champion in casuals. <laughs> but a champion that will probably do better than me, because Kana is an expert Kinesa player, and I happen to be rusty on Vatsu. Hooray! Let's go. Let's try and do our best here. I haven't even warmed up my aim at all. I haven't even finished, like, half my coffee yet, so this is going to be rough. Oh yeah, hello. Alright, throw that down. I'm missing too many shots for this, so I'm going to just back it up. And wait a sec. And then... Got him! <laughs> Element of surprise! Oh my gosh, my ambush still kind of like broke because of the window of opportunity. That's annoying. Am I going to get a bounce anytime soon? Okay, thank you. That took a long time. Ray cooldowns are pretty long, I guess. Throw some more bombs out. Kind of like waiting for the right opportunity to go in. I think I found it. Gotcha! Boom! There we go. This is actually going surprisingly well. Take out the XSTB, ambush back to Rom, and there we go, we got it. Perfect. I guess maybe Vatu is OP enough to beat Kana on Kinesa, or maybe I'm just getting really lucky. Maybe Kana hasn't finished his coffee either, so we're on even footing here. <laughs> That's my guess? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Up we go. We're gonna go for a super sneaky play. Now that all of them are comfortably out of spawn. I can hopefully ambush right behind them and get some cheeky kills. Oh, I don't know if XSTB saw me. Oh, he saw me. And he told Kana, so Kana snipes me. The instant I peek. That's fun. Oof. <laughs> well, uh, let's stack it up with some veteran. That's really just all I need. I'm replating veteran. Survive the burst damage as much as possible. <clears throat> Man, how has neither team capped this yet? This team fight has taken forever. <laughs> Literally three minute cap. I guess I can try and get touch here? Oh no, I can't. Wait, how did you two tap me? I have armor plating, veteran, and I have DR. Enemy double kill. Was that a headshot? It might have been steady aim, actually. Hmm. I guess I need more armor plating and veteran then. There goes Oof. Andrew's zero death game. Oh, well I was not ever trying to go for zero deaths. Ray, get back! Ambush! Shadow bombs! Alright, you're too far away from me now. Alright. That was awkward. Also, Omen was up there, apparently. So, took extra damage. Oh no, Yag! Oh, Yag! Yikes, man. What was that angle? Uh, yeah, Kana knows the spots on every map to be cheeky and get up there with a teleporter. Like I said, he's a Kinesa master, and they just hyper-buffed Kinesa. So, um, yeah, this is not very good for us. Here, have this. Wait, I had 1250 health. There's no way you two-shot me there. Seti doesn't do 1200 damage, and I have DR. Okay. What? Man. Well, there goes my positive streak. Bro's literally looking at the spawn door right now. Alright, we need to back it up. Go a different way. He knows! He knows! Alright. Gotcha! <laughs> Vatu! There we go. Honestly, if I can just kill Kana, I think my team wins this. Hopefully, anyways. So I'll keep trying to do that where I can. Actually, I got an idea. 
he's gonna be back. So let's lurk in the shadows and see if I can find him. Oh yeah, there he is. Bye! Yep, Vatu dumpsters Knessa if you get the jump on her. Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, that's why Kinesa is not in the S tier, because this champion and many other flanks like that can totally wreck her. <laughs> Oof, man. Okay. Um. Ooh, Kinesa just teleported somewhere. Let's wait for her to start sniping someone so that I can understand where she went. Oh, well. Okay, she's like up the middle, I think. Oof. Did she really see me go up there? Oh, okay. Um, alright, let's do our uh, veteran 2 now. Veteran probably is better to scale because I have a bunch of passive DR from my cards and stuff. So, you know, diminishing returns is a thing I have to think about. Man, he knows! He knows everything! He's got his headphones turned up real loud so he can hear those Vatu dashes. Oh boy. Who's better, Yag or Rom? Well, I think that depends probably on the player, because a really good Yag player will probably be better than Rom. Um, but sometimes for specific comps, Rom may be better due to subservience being very strong. So it's situational as always. That's why they're both in the seat here. Point spawning in 15 seconds. Hmm. Get a little bit more coffee flowing in my veins here. Five, we gotta prepare four, three, to hopefully get a good four, ult off on one. Knessa. I just, my solemn duty this match is to farm Knessa so that way she doesn't farm my team, so that way my team can farm the rest of them. Because low key, I kind of don't want to fight Omen and Sati. They're both just annoying. Okay, so Sati's up there. Wherefore art thou, Knessa? Oh? No, really, where the heck is Knessa? I don't want to fight you. Alright, I guess I'll take you out real quick. Teleport back down here just to refresh DR. Is Knessa just gone? I mean, that, that works. I'm okay with that. Wait, she's behind us. She's super far behind us. Okay. Man, she is so deep. Alright, Yag's on the chase. I'm gonna be over here too, I think. Oh, she doesn't need help. Alright, excellent job. I guess I wasted a bunch of dashes to try and get over there, but as long as Knessa dies, that's what matters. So Alright, let's get back in the fight here. Hello. Man, she is nailing me with that, huh? I just ambushed right onto that! Get me out of here! <laughs> oh. The downside of ambush. <laughs> Omnipresence is still very fun, but man, sometimes you just ambush onto an ult like that. And that's no good. Kaboom! You don't even get a teleport, Enemy my friend. Haha. -ha. Alright. Oh, Rom's respawning too, yeesh. I was like, oh, I gotta wait for Sati to respawn. And then I gotta suss out Knessa, but, uh... Didn't realize Rom was there. Makes things awkward, doesn't it? Stun! Dead! I'm gonna teleport back here now just because I'm spooked. Wait for some cooldowns, wait for some heals. Alright, I know where Knessa's at. Let me take out Rom real quick. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wait, he didn't snipe. Okay, we're good. And I think we cap. Uh, anyone else gonna try and touch? I mean, no one's out here, so I guess we got it. Nice! Alright. I know Ray's back there, so I'm not gonna dive Knessa yet. We gotta play this carefully. We gotta go for the decisive picks. Ooh, I know Sati's in there. I might be able to get her. Try and run. Abort! Abort! <laughs> Wind of opportunity. I don't like fighting it, man. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, uh, Wind of opportunity is scary. I didn't think she'd put it on me that soon either, so I totally missed my first few shots. Uh, yeah, we're all dead. Let's group up. Gotta get ready to find Kinesa. Use them out where we can. Know where Omen's at, thanks to Gag. Hmm. I want to try and slink on over to the other side. There's a mine, there's a ray. 
<laughs> no, they saw me. Okay, and Sati's over here. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. You're annoying. Go away. Okay, I know where Knessa's at now. Now I just gotta find a way to path over there. So let's see. If Sati's guarding Knessa, that could be a problem. I think she just teleported up mid. Step into the dark. She's got the bodyguard, and she's got the reveal on me, because, you know, Knessa can reveal people. Isn't that fun? Dang, why is Omen so doing so much damage at that range? That's weird. Okay, no one's over here. I guess I'll ambush to you. Oh, that Knessa ults. Okay, we got the kill, at least. Yeah, he is going to get destroyed by Knessa, though. Yikes. Steal all their toys. Oh, stole Enemy Leon's damage. toys. Oop. Okay. I know where Knessa's at. I don't think I can even get to her, though. Especially not with my team dead. So. Yeah. Generally very awkward. Oh, poor Ray, dude. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm getting out. Ah, they're too scary. We might not push this, but I think that's okay. Because, you know, on push, they have much better positions for snipers than on, you know, just capturing the objective initially. And so if we can play like we did last time, capturing the objective initially and just winning, then, you know, ultimately we'll end up winning the game. So, I think that's pretty good, huh? Bro jumped over my kunai. Okay, I'm gone. Goodbye. Boy, what are you doing back there? Can you stop, please? I have a wall right there, haha. -ha. Ow, dude, I'm taking so much damage. Why is Omen on me? Go away, man. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to play the game here. Come on, Leon. Get Knessa. She's won. You got this. Come on. Yeah, there you go. We may not have won the push, but at least Leon got the kill. You know what? I'm going positive, so that's all good. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. No, Lazy Canadian, that's not true. At high elo? <sighs> Kasumi has the lowest win rate, I'm pretty sure. 52, 51%, something like that? Or was it lower? I don't remember. Azan might be... I don't Capture remember if he's lowest in tank. Seconds. He might be lowest tank. Or actually, I think it was Ash. Uh, let me scroll up. People have been busy in the bot chat. I might not be able to find my uh, my own sources. But yeah, it's all listed in the uh, TLS video today. Okay, we found Knessa. The problem is her entire team is guarding her. So... Hmm. Movement ult. Woo! We got him! We got him! Ah! I'm dead, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it to make that trade. <laughs> uh, gotta love the extended dash, baby. What's the ability called, anyways? Nightfall. The extended nightfall dash. And I refunded 25% of it, so, you know, that's good too, I guess. So Uh-oh. Sotsy ult coming in hot. Alrighty. Oh, I missed the shot. Okay, there we go. Phew! <laughs> oh my gosh. So dangerous missing a shot like that. I'm literally just gonna wait here and spawn camp him, by the way. If people can do it to me, I can do it to him. I gotta take out the primary target, okay? Wee! Hello, Mr. Kana! Where are you? <laughs> Stay in spawn! Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, my job's done. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. My job's done. My job's done! <laughs> we capped. Let's go. Let's go back and fight the rest of the team. Oh my gosh, why is she so annoying to hit? Oh, and that stupid void grip. I would've had him. Okay. Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter. We successfully beat Knesso. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, Yag. She got an ult, too. That's so mean. 
Well, let's group up. Ray is horrendously out of position. I don't know what she's doing up there. But yeah, she's dead. No big surprise. Uh, oh man. Stop. Is he chasing me? Yeah, he's totally over here. Ooh, as is Knessa. Don't peek that. Don't peek that. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Reposition safely under the cover of darkness. Oh, she's still over there! <laughs> okay. I'm regrouping with my team. I don't want to fight all three of you at the same time. Up we go. Oh, I didn't technically contribute to that. Okay, well, I'll sure as heck contribute to that kill then. Hello, pop friend. I'm back. There we go. I didn't get any of these kills, but it's okay. Hello, Jamie. How you doing? Batu has been overpowered forever. He's been S tier forever, and they gave him a buff. The sheer audacity of that is absurd. Oh, I'm getting sniped from somewhere. Where's Kinesa? I actually don't know, but I know Sati's there, and I'm gonna kill her there. Is she in the room? How did you get back there? Wait, she's like 15 miles behind us. Hello? Okay. Weird. Get stunned. Oh, you've got stun recovery, don't ya? Oh, you're still dead. Oh, that lack of a reload animation cancel. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's a good thing Sati didn't thread one lucky shot over here. She actually would have killed me. Oh my. Hi, please. Thank you. I'll get a kill at some point, I promise. Alright, Knessa's here. Gag's gonna fail that, but Knessa's just out there taking shots. Alright, I'm going in. Uh, she made it in spawn. And she can shoot me over the box. I guess my head is just a little too tall. Are we gonna push it in, though? I mean, we've got a lot of momentum right now. Their healer is dead, which means Rom's probably not long for this world. And our tanks are looking excellent because Ray's still up there. Nara stun goes out. Gets Omen. And she gets saved by Ray. I think we got this. Uh-oh, their own Ray ult's coming out. Alright, I need to get back in there pronto. ASAP. Stat! He's too distracted on my team. We go for the wombo combo. He's dead! Let's go after that Ray. Take her out. There's the double kill. Come back in. Let's go for a stun. 800 damage. And they both go down and we win the game. Let's go. Eat your heart out, stream snipers. <laughs> yeah, Vatu's, Vatu's stupid. <laughs> uh, how did I do? 19 and 11. Wow. So I still top killed on my team. Didn't top kill in the lobby. Omen actually top killed, surprisingly. Um... But yeah, I did what I needed to do to win us that game, so very nice. I didn't do much damage, actually. Um, pretty much everyone was 100k, but I was 76k. I guess because I was mostly targeting Knessa, right? But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and queue again. Hopefully we don't get stream sniped again. You want the inverse skin of what I'm using now, so we get the gold skin with the Mayhem Kunai. A combo I also don't necessarily like, because... Again, the, uh, the the kunai just slightly don't match the skin. Ooh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, see how the tone of the gold there is just slightly different? Also, it just feels weird having green effects on a gold skin. So, yeah, I don't usually use that. You don't like gold Vatu's kunai, really. I think they're quite nice. I like the purple effects. The skin itself is just fantastic, no doubt about it. This has to be a video, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> it does prove that Vatu is crazy strong. If I, in my warm-up match, can play Vatu while Rusty into Kana's Kinesa and win. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that definitely says something. Now, did Kana buy armor plating or veteran or anything like that? Two points of veteran. Uh, did not have the health card at level 5. He had it at level 2, so that would be... Thoughts on Marvel Rivals uh, news? Thoughts. It releases on December 6th, officially smiley Kinesa. face. Oh, that's cool. Nice. So that's 2200 HP, and then probably would have had like 23, 2400 HP with Veteran. So, and yeah, that combo was still two-tapping him. I two-tapped him at the end of the match with Shadow Bombs, Kunai, Kunai, right? Th those three abilities, just bam. 
And I don't remember if the math works out to make that combo work on a 2400 health character last patch. But regardless, it would have been closer. And if he had just built from our armor plating, last patch he would have been able to survive that combo much more easily than, you know, this patch. So it's just, it's a really silly buff. They shouldn't have done it. By the way, now that I just remembered, Lotus Eaters update in Warframe is out Lotus now. Eaters? Yo, we eating the Lotus right now? What's going on? What the heck is that? That sounds extremely sus. I haven't been paying attention to Warframe updates. Is this the one that has Warframe 99? Or is that going to be its own separate, like, thing? Because I've kind of just been waiting for that. I haven't played much Warframe recently. <sighs> I don't want people to eat my lotus. Yeah, I... <laughs> that's, that's extremely sus. <laughs> Separate. This is Sevagoth Prime Update. Okay. Wow, I care about that. Is he getting a rework? Or buffs or anything? Because all I know Sevagoth for is just slap gloom on whichever character, Mesa or whoever, and just win. Alright. Frozen Guard. Oh, Not man. Too. Change Much less will. fun map. It makes no difference. Not that Bazaar is particularly fun, but this map is just not fun at all. <laughs> so, I'm gonna hate this. No, I haven't gotten Jade. I got bored grinding her, so I just stopped. And then the Path of Exile update came out, and then I just played that instead. So, yeah. I think I literally started crafting her and then just haven't claimed her yet. Savagat doesn't need buffs. He is already good. People just sleep on him. I guess. I just know he's one of the least played frames. One of the things I don't like is the amount of forma you need to invest into him. Like, there's a lot to make him good. Like, he, he eats I forma more than my Kavat. It's crazy. Genshin on at Xbox, finally. That's cool, I guess. I don't play Genshin, so I don't care. <laughs> but that's good for Genshin players, I guess. I know, it's weird. Like, we had a Genshin chat on my channel at one point, uh, and I know people talk about it in the other games chat, but I, I have never actually played Genshin. In a mad world, one of my mods actually made the Genshin chat long ago, and then I removed it because it died. Alright, we're gonna do Omnipresence again. It is Kana again, this time on Cassie, switching things up. Might be a much better champion to play against Vatu here, we'll see. Rise up, Andrew, and XSTB is abusing Moji! Gosh darn it, I am supposed to be the only one here abusing OP champs. What the heck? Okay, and they've got Sky Heals as well. Oh man, as if solo support Moji wasn't good enough. You've got the double support combo. <laughs> Except Sky is actually a flank, so she still has crazy damage too. Oh man. Well, um, it's time for armor plating then. Probably not veteran this match, considering that they do percent damage. Either way, scary. Oh, and he's rushing unbound. Oh no. Okay, this is going to be probably even more tough than last match. Not gonna lie. We've got double support as well, which is a blessing and a curse. A lot of survivability, but not a lot of damage output on our team. Hello. Whoa. Sir. Alright, I got him. That was a bit sloppy. He got the element of surprise on me, but I do take him down. I missed those shadow bombs. Whoops. Woo! Cassie, we can talk about this. Okay, they are way too grouped for me right now to actually go in there, so I'm just gonna Omnipresence away. What are you doing back here? You're supposed to be grouped up with your team. You're a support, remember? Damage reduction, boom. Follow your dodge roll, steal your mobility. Let's teleport to you now. Good stun. Shadow bombs and dead. Let's go for stun. He's gonna die, and now it's just Inara, and I'm gonna steal that kill. After I awkwardly missed the other shot. There we go, Vatu Gaming. Uh, I'm gonna lurk in this hallway. I don't really see a need to push into the main area, because I don't have enough range. So I'm literally just gonna wait here, and then ambush Sky, because I think she's walking here. Oh, nope, she went up mid. Okay. And now I'm revealed, okay. And Sky's ambushing me, but it doesn't matter, because we just capped there, so... Good stuff. I don't like it when they fight up there. 
Yeah, Victor, come over here so I can just kill you like that. I actually don't want to be up there. I'm going to ambush you. What on earth are you doing behind us, Sky? Stop it. You are not a flank. You are a support. That is your official role. <laughs> I'm back from my vacation. Ooh, nice. From oh, 35 yes, degrees Jim. in Greece to 20 degrees in Germany. A very nice. pleasant change. Yo, can I join you? I want 20 degree weather. <laughs> I also want to be in Germany. That just sounds great. Boom! Uh, this Victor pr is pretending he's a flank, too. The enemies don't realize that the only flank they have is actually Cassie. Oh, no, I'm getting tag team. I'm gonna die. Crap. That knockback was awkward. People are just too lazy, but as a Savagus main, it is the pain I must endure shuffing even more Forma into the new Prime. Yeah, that's just the biggest pain. And, yeah. I main some weird champions too, okay? I, I am a Grendel enthusiast. Uh, my other mains are Mirage and Volt, much more mainstream, but, you know. I absolutely love Grendel. I just find him to be more fun than Savagoth. You know, I like rolling around and eating stuff and getting stuck on walls, apparently! Shadow bombs go! Thank you, supports! Oh my gosh, that was so awkward. It's like, what was I stuck on? Does this pillar block me? Oh my gosh, this pillar blocks me! That's couldn't get into the room, that's so annoying. Alright, please die, thank you. Luckily for you, I can ambush you away from your bomb and then kill you. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh, you've got Moji, you are never going to die. I'm gonna have to kill Moji first. Oh, I stabbed her too. Nice. What are you doing? You're not a flank! Uh, nope, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm ambushing to Luna, I guess you can do that. Whoa. Oh, that's still stunned me. Wow. Stun. No way, Magic Barrier lives that. Magic Barrier just lives that. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, what if we gave a support an ability that made them immortal? But still let them be damaged, so you have the illusion of being able to kill them, but you can't actually kill them. Isn't that fun? It's just good game design, really. I hope they optimize the game. I have flashbacks of Strange's portal having frame drops. Yeah, I have flashbacks of everything crashing. <laughs> When I tried to run the game at Ultra Graphics. Our spirits are linked. Which, yeah, I mean, I, I probably just need a new CPU and then I'll fix that problem. But, like, oof. Moji should have been an off tank. It was literally right there. Yeah, that was the opposing viewpoint for a rework. One that I myself actually was kind of on board with. Capture point spawning in 15 Because, yeah, seconds. big hitbox, relatively poor mobility, cl <laughs> close range damage, and a heck of a lot of sustain. Yeah, that's the makings for an off tank right there. But no, we got support Moji instead, which, you know, also makes sense, but the way they've done it has made her extremely overpowered. Alright, where are the gamers? Is Victor flanking again? He is. Well, I got the jump on him this time, but then Sky got the jump on me. So what does that mean? Well, it means I'm dead. Yikes. A Mirage main's favorite type of pizza is 100% margarita. Most vanilla boring Warframe that just destroys margarita everything resident sleeping. Wait, but that's not the most vanilla pizza. The most vanilla pizza is just plain pepperoni. Wait, I made that analogy doesn't work. But yeah, listen. You know what's fun with Mirage? Play Mirage, get the Prisma Lens, and then... Clutter your entire screen with a billion explosions. That's the reason I started maining her in the first place. That combo is just so fun. It really, truly is. Come back here and stop healing yourself, please. Come back and just die. Wow, I missed. Laziest aim of all time, and also, wow, I get two tapped by Cassie. The disengage messed me up. Oh boy. I'm gonna get more Chronos, that's how I'm gonna eke more survivability out of this match when I can't buy a veteran because of all the percent damage. Because I get more uptime on my abilities, which means more dodging and also more DR because of my DR on ambush and shadow bombs. So, that all should be very good for me. It seems like we're about to win this. Whoa, can you imagine if I ambushed to her and then just fell off the map? That would be hilarious. Hilariously bad, but you know, hilarious. 
Well, thank you, Ray. I was hoping Tawn would hit me with the good stuff, but he doesn't need to. Huh? Moji's still here? Die! <laughs> there we go, and we cap it. I am 17 and 4 right now. I'm. I dare say I want to pat myself on the back for how good we're doing against Connie here. Also, I didn't know you could platform on this. This isn't even me abusing 300 FPS. This is just the wall actually being able to be stood on. That's a bit silly. Right, let me ambush to you. Let me ambush to you. And then let's wait and figure out what we're doing. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Ah! Cassie, please. Alright. Uh, I'm going to try... Ooh, nothing. Because Sky is here, so I'll just kill her instead. There we go. And now I'm going to ambush here and then run away because, holy crap, that's literally the entire team up mid. Alright, we need a flank. I have my ult. You guys know what I'm about to do. Up and over. She's so one. Got her. Let's go. I'm dead, but you know what? For taking out Moji, I think that's worth it. Because now hopefully our team should be able to just push that all the way through. Or at least get a lot of progress. I was dead, though. You did not just say pizza burger in front of me? Oh, yeah, in America at some places, you can order a pizza that has, like, burger-style toppings on it. So you get, like, uh, like, burger beef. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if they put lettuce on it, but there's, like, tomatoes, onions, you know. It's okay. It's very gimmicky. I've had it before. Not something I get often at all. Even though I'm American, you know. <laughs> Isn't that what you eat all the time in America? These stupid food combinations. No. Uh -oh. Cassie's in there. Man, if that stun went in that room, that would have been huge. Do I see Emoji all by herself? Oh, well, I see Victor. I'm gonna die. Yeah, okay. I eat my burgers plain, though, so it's pepperoni, cheese, and sauce with patty. Yeah, that's pretty plain. I do like a good pepperoni pizza, though. It's simple. Like, when you want something simple, it's nice. But yeah, I usually get, like, pepperoni, maybe some sausage if I'm feeling zesty like that. I like putting green peppers on my pizza. It makes it a little bit more fresh. Uh, mushrooms sometimes. I do like black olives as well. So, put it all together and yay, we get a yummy pizza. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Four cheese pizza. I'm a cheese guy. I like cheese, but a pizza with just cheese on it is... Like, I don't know, it feels wrong to me. I could eat pasta with anything. Yeah, I love pasta too. The pure taste of pasta is really nice when it's been boiled in the salty pasta water. Yeah, and then you have Stealthy who just eats pasta plain. Like a weirdo. <laughs> Oh, man. That sounds like some food I would eat when I'm sick and, like, my stomach is queasy. Like, literally just plain pasta, nothing on it. But now you gotta put something on it. You gotta spice it up. Literally with spices. Or put some yummy sauce on it. Or anything. Please. Alright. So I'm revealed. I wish Inara would have put that wall down so I could hit the people in there. But I guess not. And then I'm not gonna flick on Vic properly, so I guess I'm just dead. What a shame. Okay. <laughs> and we all die. That's so bad. We need to group up right now. I'm gonna make it past their zoning attempts. There we go. Hello. And goodbye. Okay, I'm not gonna get ambushed on him, but I got his overtime touch, so that's what matters. I'm gonna die now, though. And our team isn't even remotely close for a second touch, so I kind of just killed myself for no reason there. Got it. We're all late! Everyone's too slow. I make the water as salty as the ocean because that's how you're supposed to make pasta. That's actually a metaphor. If you made it literally as salty as the ocean, it'd be way too salty. But yes, good amount of salt on the water. That's what you want. Yo! Almost got two tapped. That's not fair. I'm supposed to two-tap you. You're not supposed to two-tap me. I'm about to, after all. Ah, uh, those shadow bombs miss. Okay. Well, hope you like death, because that's what I'm delivering to you. 
Vatu, the pizza delivery guy. <laughs> uh, record delivery speed every time. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cassie did not get stunned by that. All right. Nope. Oh, that stunned me out in the open. I can't believe that still hit. Man, I'm getting, like, right on the edge of these in our ults, I guess. Uh, dying a lot more now. I think we'll still be able to defend this, just because it's a very defensible map with our comp. But capping the next point is going to be the toughest thing. No, Inara! Ayo, please live. I wish I could help you, but I literally can't. And you're dead. Okay. I'm also revealed. This is all generally just annoying. Okay, they know I'm up here. Which means they know I'm probably going to go for this. But I'm going to go for it anyways, just to start some chaos. Up in here. Wow, I can't teleport away. Or dash away. They're just doing so much damage to me. I'm just really struggling to get back there now. Io's dead. Khan, you gotta get back on the point. Battle shot for it? Nope. But yep. But he's the only one alive, so they're probably just gonna win this. So I guess we don't defend them. Okay. Great. <laughs> Turns out Moji and Cassie is a bit more OP of a combo than Tanessa and Omen for the stream snipers to abuse. Surely, we don't get stream sniped three times in a row by the same people. Matchmaking isn't that dead, right? I got top kills in the lobby, but yeah, I don't think double support was to play there. Because we just really lacked on kills. I needed another person to get kills with me. And we just didn't really have that. The tanks were about competitive with, you know, Khan and their Inara getting kills. And I guess they had a relatively low kill game as well from Victor and Sky not really doing much. But if we had another person who could help put pressure on Cassie, especially someone with a bit more poke, I think we would have won that game. But me trying to get in close to Cassie when she's full health all the time with Emoji Pocket is I just will let you use not mayhem. doable. Nothing well. weird to add. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's go again. Third time's the charm. No stream snipers, right? Vatu. Can you imagine if I literally get stream sniped Vatu. the entire stream? Every single match we go against the same people? I think that's a sign the Paladins is truly dead, if that's the case. Siege. Okay, stone keep. I didn't see any icons on the enemy team, so I think we might have gotten Change lucky. What you will. I hope so. Have you come to accept our truth? And the shark mount. Sharky Brody boy! It's your daily outing here. <laughs> Seems I equip you every single stream. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Gonna stream snipe by throwing on Cherifuria. Please do that, Stealthy. I like that idea a lot. <laughs> yes. You think the Colt skin looks better than that one, Yami? I mean, I guess everyone's entitled to their opinion, but yikes. <laughs> I am going to judge you for that opinion, harshly. At the very least, this skin should have the Mayhem voice pack. You know, they didn't make a unique voice pack for it, which is just dumb. But if it had the Mayhem voice pack, it would be a little bit better. And also if it actually had a unique weapon instead of literally just a recolor of default, then I would like the skin more. Another Vatu, uh-oh. Oh, it's- okay, so we avoid getting stream sniped by Kana and XSCB just to go in against the magic bullet person who still hasn't been banned yet on Vatu. Well, let's see if I can beat him. Oh boy. And yeah, Cassie on the enemy team as well, that's gonna be very annoying. Does anyone else in here like sushi? I haven't really had sushi. Like, I think I had a cooked sushi one time, but I haven't had it just proper raw sushi. Honestly, the idea of eating raw fish or raw any sort of meat just gives me the creeps. I know it's perfectly safe, you know, if you get sushi from a reputable source, but I don't know. Uh, it just, makes me feel a little weird, you know? Plus, like, we live in the 21st century, we have fire. Why don't we just cook our food, you know? That's kind of like, <laughs> that, that's kind of my thought process, you know? I, I'd, I'd like to, like, cook the fish. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I a heathen for that? I must be. Okay, I'm going to get, uh, armor plating again. Andrew, I feel like Nyx is a bit overrated. Like you said, she's a big squishy tank when Royal Presence is down. I didn't say no she's mobility. squishy. When did I say she's squishy? 
She has her shield when Royal Presence is done. You put the shield down and you just block damage. Then you get your Royal Presence back. You buy Kronos. She has no mobility, but everything else makes up for it. Okay. Well, Cassie is a lot less aware than Kana was. That's good. <laughs> Still Cassie, though. Alright, throw that down. Oh, hello, Tiberius. I didn't realize there was a heavy blade there. I just got blown up. I was trying to ambush out. I was going to finish both of those kills, but... Tiberius said no. And now he's dead for it. Good job, Tyra. We need to get everybody back here, though. Yeah, turn it. Just run away for now. I'm going to try and find a route to flank these guys. Alright, we know Cassie's overextended. Vatu's overextended, which means Io is probably free. And she just used Lunar Leap, so that's a free kill. Boom. And then TP back here to safety. There we go. Can we get that, Fernando? Yes, we can. Ow! Cassie! <laughs> Oof. Based on tier list. Ruckus training next week. <laughs> no. Andrew 315 no. Hectic. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Eating raw fish offers a different experience. The fish feels better in your mouth. That sounds so weird. I get the heebie-jeebies. I'm not super picky when it comes to food, but that is one thing that kind of gives me the creeps, you know? All right, Va'u. Here's how you ult properly. There we go. Gotcha. And now I'm going to go for touch and then run away. There we go. We got it. Let's come up here and get ready for another ambush. Oh, Terminus died. Okay. Ooh. I ran into her Lunar Leap, so we both kind of bumped into each other. That was awkward. When she first came out, I know she got fucked, but her survivability remains the same. She's also an easy target to things like Drogo's ult, Khan ult, Bora yeah, that is ult, Moji ult. Well, lack of mobility makes her vulnerable to that, no doubt. But again, the, the stats just speak for themselves. Ridiculous ban rate, ridiculous pick rate. And yeah, she's just insanely popular, insanely good right now. Oof, man, I cannot hit him like that. Okay. Well, we're gonna lose that, sadly. Very tough fight for both teams. Oh, that's good I didn't hit him. It looked like it should have. Guess not. Guess the spread wasn't working for me. Okay. How do we go in here? I guess I'm going to try and slink back here. There we go. No more IO. Ambush to you to refresh the DR. Ambush to you to refresh the DR again. And I can kill Tiberius. You missed your ult again, by the way, buddy. Kill you, there we go, and I've got a Corvus pocket, so I'm still living for now, but Vatu's gonna hit the burst combo on me, and I'm finally gonna go out. But that was a very successful flank, I think, so, yay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do more Kronos now. Let's start to build that up. Next is squishy if you have horrible cooldown management. True. And honestly, cooldown management with her is a bit more difficult than Inara, because Inara has treacherous ground which she can run the DR card and get DR that way. And she also just has lower cooldowns, I think, in general. So... Whoa, where the heck did we even go? I ambushed to nothing. <laughs> that was a weird interaction. But yeah, if you buy Kronos, it just makes managing cooldowns so much easier. So... Oh, that did hit. Okay. Shadow Bomb's hit and dead. Ambush up to you. Take you down. Bye. Triple kill. I'm going to die now. What happened to my ambush? It just, like, didn't go off. Hello? Okay. This is a Vatu gameplay stream? I want sushi now. Wait, what is that relation? <laughs> okay. What did it take for Yag's training stream? At least $100. That's my price. You want to play that godforsaken champion? I need money. I need Daka. I need Dosh. I need Ducats. Whatever slang word you want for it. Yo, I'm kind of farming the rest of their team, though. Like, Vatu versus Vatu has not been working out, but Vatu versus everyone else? I'm destroying this match. 
Okay, now what happened to that ambush? I think it expired. Got Shadow Bombs on him, he's coming in here, and he will die. Good job, Turn. Oh, he's one. Got him. Easy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and we defend. Perfect. I'm farming up kills right now. Because Vatu is smelly and Fish is smelly. Oh, I see. I understand. <laughs> is it worth $100? Hmm. $100 for Yag is cheap. Honestly, $100 is more than I make in the average stream. And in the Yag stream, I'd have an opportunity to make even more. So, like, it's worth it for me. That's my price. Someone wants me to do a Yag training stream? I'll do a Yag training stream on Friday. Actually, no, probably on Monday. Capture yeah, because I want to do right before Friday. So I'll, I'll do it on Monday or I'll do it on Wednesday. If we get $100 right now. That's my price. You don't like it, then don't pay it. Five, four, three, uh, I'd rather eat sushi. Would what you do you rather mean? eat sushi Listen, or I'm play not... 100 games of Eternal Azan? I'm not so opposed to sushi that I would play 100 games of Eternal Azan to not eat sushi, okay? I'll try it. I'm not that much of a nitwit. Who's actually kind of huge. Oh, they got the Nando ult. Oh, okay. Whoops. Uh, cool. You have an ambush. Can you just die already? Thank you. Oh, my ambush right now. I was going to ambush the Yag. Get that reset so then I can go in on someone else. But that didn't work. Holy. Alright, good heals. Got them both, baby. Triple kill! Oh, yeah, dude. Man, Omnipresence is so much fun. I know it's not his meta talent, but I think it's perfectly good if you're good at it. And it's just so fun. The ambush feels more fluid to use, and being able to teleport to allies makes all sorts of stuff possible. And the fact that you can ambush to the same enemy twice if you do ambush to Io, ambush to Cassie, then ambush back to Io, for example. I just like that so much. I tried to ambush to Vatu, but I ambushed to Corvus instead. Whoops. Alright, I'm dead. Let's group up here. They picked us apart. We're still going to have time for an overtime touch, especially if the Ag heals up here and then accelerates in. So she should start going for that now. You got that? Yep, good. Alright, let me come in here and dispose of Tiberius. Oh man, we lost it. Okay. That missed. Hold on. Shadow bomb. Boom. Boom. I saw Vatu. Boom. Kill him. Nice. This skin has such good sound effects too, man. That ambush is just harrowing. Yep, I'm on that training montage. I'm getting better at Vatu again. I used to be really good at him, but then I kind of just stopped playing him. And I'm still okay at him, but you know, gotta shake the rust off if I want to play him in ranked. Gotta abuse him while he's OP, you know. Up we go. Chase IO, refresh my DR. Oh, come on. Come on, Fernando. Just let me have her. Let me have her. And. Vatu die for that? No. Alright. Well, Tyra might die here too. Andrew, what do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Whatever that is that you're asking me right now. Hold on, I missed. Hold on, she got healed and Fernando got in the way. Okay, I guess you lived that. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Boom. There we go. Combo with the Tyra ults. Where did Io run off to? Oops. Maybe you know the answer. You do! Yeesh. Okay, I don't want to fight Cassie super hard right now. Pop that, run down here, and then ambush to Tyra. And then... Ambush in there, do a little bit more damage, and then realize I don't want to push that angle anymore. Whoa, Vatu! What are you doing in here? Ah! I stopped playing him because I got rolled by Fishnet a few times when he came out. Oh no. 
not fishing it. Well, they wiped our team. I think both tanks are dead here. Okay, Yag's getting away. And wow, they let up the chase on Terminus. Crazy. That's super lucky for us. And they're going to have a long way to push this payload. I think we defend this pretty gracefully here. Just got to go in and get a few more kills. Vatu, you pushing me? Die. <laughs> Got him. I need healing. Where's my healer? Where's my healer? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Ah, spooky. Alright. Io, you're revealed. So some kunite you. Boom. Well, my ambush failed. Ugh. No, the dash! Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> we are mirroring each other's items right now. Should I buy Unbound? Nah, I don't need it. We don't have enough CC for that. Now that I think of it, I don't know why he's buying Unbound. We have even less CC than their team. So, I am going to make the decision to buy... Uh... Hmm. Capture point spawning in 15 I don't actually know. <laughs> Maybe I should do a morale boost play. They don't have a lot of unbound. And if I can spam ult against Cassie and Io, that confirms more kills. So that's going to be my decision here. I think it's a smarter play than buying unbound. Yeah, unbound literally just for the 1v1. I don't think that's worth it. Especially because it seems to be like a 50-50 shot whether we actually win the 1v1 or not. Like, sometimes I just win, sometimes he just wins. Ooh, in that case, he just dies to Yag. Unbound doesn't counter that. Dude, I got stuck on the wall. Wait, she's still in here. Okay, that was weird. Well, I need unbound for uh, morale boost, excuse me, for when I miss my ults. There we go. That's the strat. Get this stupid Fernando off the line. Boom. Now let's go for the zoning. Vatu's gonna be back. So we just gotta be prepared for that. We don't have a Yag ult to get an easy kill on him this turn. Whoa. I'm ambushing away. Bye bye. I hit these. He got our Corvus, but at least he dies for it. And I'm gonna get their Io, hopefully. No, 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 no. I don't have VR up. Let me just back it up. Alright, good kill. See if I can help somehow back here. Whoa, what did I just teleport to? I meant to teleport to Cassie. Okay, weird. Wacky and zany. Well, that just missed. Okay, how did you hit that shot? Man, I love aimbotters. <laughs> They're so fun. <sighs> Let's get more morale boost. That's not a joke, by the way. Everyone's been accusing this person of having Magic Bullet, and I don't know how he's not gotten banned yet. Alright, Va'u. I got the reveal on you! Ooh, burst combo doesn't kill, though. Okay. Let me ambush back here, then. Ooh, man. Terminus dead. I think Va'u might come up here. No? Okay. Come up here, maybe? <laughs> Where's Vatu going? He's down here. Man, he's got healing and I don't. Of course. I love it when he gets an eye pocket. <laughs> so much. Ugh. Can't just have a fair 1v1. Alright, Fernando dies. Good. I just need to stop picking fights with Vatu. He's not for me to deal with. We have Tyra, we have Yag. They can deal with Vatu. My job is to farm the rest of their team so they have an easier time killing Vatu, right? That's the strat. Ambush to Io. Watch her blow up. Then, run away. My ambush didn't work. Okay, but at least I got the Io. That trade is worth it. Yeah, support diff. <laughs> Io is simply better than Gorvis, so she wins. Hooray. Let's go. Thank you. 
<laughs> there's something called being good at the game, I am joking, hee hee. Yes, there is. But sometimes there's a thing called Magic Bullet and an eye pocket. Up we go! Oh, I'm revealed. Okay. You know what? Stun. Die. Wow, I just fell to the floor. Brilliant. Alright, I'm gone. I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. Actually, his abilities are down. I might be able to get him. Right, good. Come back in here. And then come up here. Gotta be careful, because there are going to be a lot of people coming in this room right now. Fifteen seconds remaining. But yeah, Tiberius is throwing shots at me. Ten, nine, eight, okay, seven, maybe I don't push that six, angle. Five, four, maybe I go, like, three, up and... Two, one. Nah. Something like this, maybe? There we go. I think that works. Whoa, Vatu's here! Hello. Alright, that was one. Ooh, we're all dying. Okay, we're not going to defend this quite yet. You get Cassie? No, but they might just see nine. So they got it back. Yikes is going to die now. Yikes. Okay. This is going to be tough for us, because Terminus is likely going to die. He might ult. He might ult it, though. I don't know. Okay. Good, he got away from that. They try coming around. I know Io is back here. Ah, oh, I teleported to Luna again. That's not what I want, man. Tripping on things as well. Gotcha! Double kill, and triple kill to win the defense. Wait, quad? No, I missed. Okay. <laughs> Phew! And it comes down to a 3-3 again. Let's see if we can beat the filthy enemy Vatu. I just have to ignore him. I have to remember, ignore Vatu. Do not take Vatu on in a direct 1v1. He will win because he's a stinky cheater. So, kill Cassie, kill Io, kill Tiberius, we win. Focus them, Capture run away from Vatu like a whiny seconds. little bit, and that should be good. Enjoying this one more than the Andro training stream so far? Well, the bad matchmaking Five, came early. Four, but apart from that, yeah, three, I am enjoying it more. Two, Vatu's a more one. enjoyable character. Okay, I'm gonna keep going over here. Because I can just get nice and close to Cassie and Tiberius immediately. And get ready for a tussle. Nice. Take you down. Where did Cassie go? Oh, there she is. Alright, dead. Now let's make sure they don't actually cap the point. Take the fight to Fernando. Whoa. Alright, dodged it. Man, I can't get a reload off because there's no reload animation cancel on this character. That's the worst thing about him. Every other reasonable champion has it, but Vatu doesn't. Remember what I said? Don't pick a fight with Vatu. Don't pick a fight with Vatu. Come around here, take a fight with Io, or Cassie. There we go, there's Cassie. She rolled away. Okay. But she still has an angle there, huh? Boom. Oh, that was cool. Alright, no more support. We go back here, take out Fernando, pop up and around. Triple kill. Quadra kill to win the game. Let's go. How many triples and quads have I gotten this match? I'm just farming everyone who's not Vati right now. GG's. This character is kind of OP. <laughs> it's just part of the game. We just have to remember. It's just part of the game. There's nothing that says I can't play this character, okay? Well, I actually did better than the opposing Vati. That's wild. I guess that's not too surprising, considering we had a tougher team to flank. With Double Tank and Tyra. Sheesh. <clears throat> Still gonna report him, though. I seriously don't know why this guy hasn't been banned yet. <laughs> Very annoying. Yeah, I'm the cheater. That's the that's the secret thing. I'm the cheater. <laughs> I ulted Vato every chance I got. Yeah, that's also a great strategy with Yag. That really helped us out. Counter it with unerring. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, genius. 
I actually don't need it, though. I mean, if anything, I'm kind of proving that you don't need to rely on unerring. Unerring is simply a crutch, and in some cases, the reliability is good if you're facing off against, like, Eevee. Or, yeah, Vatu. But, uh... Yeah, it doesn't provide you a benefit outside of making him easier to play. If you put in the time to hit the Shadow Bombs better, Siege. then you will do better with one of the other the other two talents. That's just Are a straight fact. It's just very difficult to do so. Alright. Vatu! Vatu! No I'm gonna play Aleandro, as some people call him, with his skin, because he's got a sexy mustache. <laughs> Let's see which stream snipers are on the enemy team this match. Oh boy. The Vatu skin is so ugly. What do you mean? He took the mask off and we get to see that he has a, uh, a little goatee and a mustache. And isn't that great? I really like the clothes he's wearing with this skin. It's a very nice, calm color palette. And the pattern is also very nice. And the kunai also have like that sort of... What, what do you call that? <laughs> if I remember correctly from watching Forged in Fire all those years ago, uh, is that called Damascus Steel that he's got on the kunai? That sort of thing? I don't know. It looks good. That's the point. So, <laughs> yeah. Guys without masks are hotter than with the masks on. Yeah, if, if Paladins has taught us anything, it's that. Do not take the mask off. Do not take the mask off of Koga. Do not take the mask off of Vatu. Twilight approaches. Smothering light Omnipresence, eyes. let's go. This struggle is life. Yeah, what do you call, like, on the blade, those extra, like, swirls and stuff? It looks nice. And yeah, well, we have Stealthy on the enemy team stream sniping. That's how we know this is going to be an easy game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they've got Knessa as well playing reposition. That's going to be moderately annoying. No Omen's going to be moderately annoying, but I think we can win this here. Actually, the worst thing for me is going to be Sacrifice. The IO last match didn't play Sacrifice, and she was really easy to kill. This match is going to be a lot harder. I have the mobility to catch up to her and kill her in a vacuum, but I'm going to have her other teammates looking at me, so Five, that's what's going to make it tough. Four, three, uh, I'm going to try just a straight front of play at the start, see if that Andrew is Andrew, you think triple tank DPS support is a good comp for ranked, depending on enemy team, of course. Well, anything can be good depending on what the enemy team goes. I don't think it's particularly practical to do that. When there are a bunch of other options, but you know, you do you. There she is, and there she was. Talos actually got that kill. And our entire team died! Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go up here, and I'm going to spawn Camp Kinesa. And Io, both, I guess. Oh, she got sacrificed up, hold on. Hold on. Just gotta go. Don't hook me, don't hook me, don't hook me. Don't hook me. Thank you. Oh, he's still chasing that, but he isn't hooking me. What do we do? Alright, good job killing Omen. I'm going to slip my way down to Kinesa. And then run up here. And then kill her. Ow! <laughs> Alright, out of position there. Shouldn't be in the open like that. I don't think they curve when they get shot straight up. Yeah, there's some weird jank with his kunai when you shoot them straight up or straight down. They don't have much of a curve, and they also group up a little bit tighter. I don't know why. It's due to Paladin's programming, really. Whoa, who stunned me? Wait, it was a... Did I get stunned by a Pyre Strike? Oh, I did. Okay. That was weird, because I didn't see a Pyre Strike anywhere, but I guess it hit me on my back or something. Enemy page. And we're gonna lose this first cap. They're playing really squirrely with reposition and sacrifice. I don't like that. Okay, everyone, let's group up. Oh, Nyx, please live. An enemy I'm just lurking back me. here. I'm gonna wait for the right time to strike. Ooh, Omen, don't look at me. If you come over here, I have my ultimate. Your light flickers. Of course that didn't hit. Of course it didn't hit. Graze past the wall, still doesn't do damage to him. I see how it is. Alright, Nyx, you're back here, so I'm gonna uh, teleport back there so I don't get my head shot off. Yep, saw that coming a mile away. 
Alright, I've got ambush. I've got three dashes. Let me come back here. Oh my gosh, I just got stunned and died. She's one HP, but I can't kill her. <laughs> if only Omen wasn't standing in the way, I might have been able to hit her with a regular shot. I'm gonna buy Unbound for this team. Furious stun plus Io stun. Plus Void Grip plus Makoa stun is too much for me to deal with. How does Makoa have 17 kills already? How have we died that much on this team? What is going on right now, man? Alright, you should die. I am 1 HP. Can I get a heal, please? Thank you. Might try a Bloodbath play or something. I'm not getting enough kills to justify it yet. So I might need other items first, but that might be a good idea. That still hits! Get a taste of your own medicine, Stealthy. Man, you just have so much healing! IO pockets are absurd, man. Oh, that's such an annoying team to fight. Dance with me. <sighs> Thirty seconds remaining. Clearly, there was a descending moon on the twentieth of February, and since Dream isn't a Pisces, he could not have cheated. What are you talking about right now? What kind of jibber jabber is this? Fifteen seconds remaining. <laughs> Too many people in their back line at all times, all looking at me. I go in. I don't like that. Break that mine real quick. Makoa, get out of the way! You're always in the way, man! <laughs> Chat is very off-topic from Paladins. Yeah, we're talking about astrology, I guess, which is just a bunch of nonsense malarkey. <laughs> so, okay. Andrew, it's because you're the whatever you are that is born in December, which means you don't believe in astrology because you're pessimistic or something like that, huh? See, I have an answer for everything because this is totally legit. <laughs> Five, Mercury was in retrograde. Four, Dream wasn't three, cheating. Yeah. Four. One. You're such a Scorpio, OMG, stop. Is that December? Is that how that even works? I don't know. Well, it, it doesn't work, so it can't be how it works, because nothing about it works, because it's all fake, made-up nonsense. Boom! Bye-bye, Omen. Alright, let's go find that Knessa. I don't like you, so get solo ulted. <laughs> You're annoying, playing reposition. Killing Instead of steady aim. When steady aim is still the meta talent anyways. But reposition just makes you stinky. Because you teleport faster. I don't like it. I'm on. Never mind, it's Sagittarius. Okay, I'm such a Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs> I AFK'd in Paladin's Rank because I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. Exactly. Whoa! Hold on. <laughs> oh, that was cheeky. I stole Knessa's teleporter <laughs> with my ambush. Oof. I actually wasn't even necessarily trying to teleport to her specifically to kill her or anything. I was just trying to get away. Okay, get out of there. Right now. Thank goodness there was a shield there. Alright, let's slip around. I have ult. Boom. Yo, Fury actually does, like, crazy damage. I'm gonna back out of that real quick. Corvus! <laughs> ah! Hello. What are you gonna do? You gonna try and hook me off the map? No, you're not. I'm Vatsu. That doesn't work. Ooh, can I... No, I had, like, a slight angle on the ambush, but it, then it disappeared. I was gonna ambush up there and get him. There we go. See, that's what I wanted to do the first time. No, Mako, you saved him from going in the drink. What are you doing? <laughs> Still got him, but my gosh. He would have just fallen. Show that was so silly. No mercy. Show them no mercy. Oh. Whoa. Alright, can we kill him? Alright, I'm not getting that right now. Oh! 
Oh my, is he chasing that? Kind of. Let me be a slippery fella. Stun! Dead to the Shadow Bombs. Now run! Didn't run fast enough. Ah! Alright, let's get Unbound 3, Kronos 2. That's gonna start feeling really good. I have forced K Kinesa to buy Unbound 3. That is excellent. And we might push it through. Yeah, we got it. Good job. <clears throat> Vivian has a learning curve. You need the best of the best tracking. <laughs> Yeah, you need to know specifically. I, I saw a comment that was like, you need to know specifically uh, which champions to shoot at which time and how to uh, shoot them to get the most damage out of them and also uh, how to play in a good position to do more shooting so that you don't get shot and die and also know when to put your shield up to protect That's you so you can shoot the enemies more and then press your ultimate so you can shoot the enemies even more and you have to have good aim so you can shoot the enemies. It's really complicated to play Viv play Vivian, guys. Trust me. Five, four, <laughs> it's so difficult. Three, two, one. Bro was a Roman citizen. That's why he knows so much about Roman history. He lived it. True. That's the secret I've been keeping. Speaking of Rome, by the way, mini tangent. I have lost 90% of my hype for Civ 7 after they revealed Augustus Caesar. Have you guys seen Augustus Caesar in Civ 7? You probably haven't, because this is a paladin. But he looks so bad. Like, really, genuinely. He looks like the Walmart yodeling kid. I posted about it in the other games chat. I'll have to show it to you. When I get the chance. It's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Alright, bye. Bye. Wow, I guess we're just farming here, huh? Oh, alright, Talos has got that. Good for you. I actually should have killed him, or I killed her, so that way his ult wouldn't have gone off, and then he would have saved 70%. They would have been able to ult someone else sooner. Boom. Stun real quick, just so I can reload. Dead. Ambush again. Ambush again. Hit these hooks. Hit these hooks, Makoa. You got this. Hit these hooks. You didn't even try. Come on. I'd respect you if you tried. Okay. Well, that's a GG. Here, let me show you. Let me show you how bad Augustus Caesar looks in other games. Okay. So this is Civ 7 Augustus. Look at this dude. <laughs> why? Why Why does he look like that? He's supposed to be one of the most important people of all time, period. Like, top ten most important people. This dude looks like the Walmart yodeling kid. He looks like that. Not to mention also the way the textures and animations look. You can't see the animation because it's a still picture, obviously. He looks like a character ripped out of Rage Shadow Legends. And you know, as much as I like Rage Shadow Legends, haha, ha, keep paying me, right? Um, <laughs> that's not a good thing, because Raid Shadow Legends is a mobile game. And this is supposed to be, like, you know, a, a 4X, like, AAA uh, PC game, you know? <laughs> like, it looks bad. And for comparison, honestly, the Civ franchise truly peaked with Civ Five because this is Augustus Caesar in Civ Five. Look at that. He's sitting in his chair like he's got better things to do than talk to you. Also, I don't know why they made him blonde. I don't think it's historically accurate that Caesar was blonde. Maybe they discovered something recently that disproves that, but it doesn't seem right. But yeah, you know, that's 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 Augustus Caesar. <laughs> and again, sort of got the mobile game graphics going on, but bear in mind, this game is like over a decade old, so, you know, obviously he's not going to look perfect, but... Civ 7 looks so bad. <laughs> Civ 7 Augustus looks, Augustus looks awful, dude. Why do they do him like that? I don't like it. The game also looks really bloated. I'll still buy it. I'll try it out. Might be fun. Maybe I'm being pessimistic about it. They had better change Augustus Caesar before the game goes full release, though. I'm telling you. That, that is a joke. <clears throat> Show Rome the respect it deserves, man. Oh yeah, new party. Good point. Let me refresh the party now. If you want to join the new party, say your name in the chat. Got distracted by uh, other video games. Freddy Fazbor, or har 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 har. Aha! Does he? Rose Star nine 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 donated gotcha. one dollar. Welcome. I am bribing to join. Why are none of these names here though? Hello, is the party system broken? Okay, I can invite Kitten. I just missed a nine that time. Don't worry about that. Where are you guys? 
Okay, I'm not inviting Natazi then. You didn't have your game open when you typed your name in, so you don't... You should have had the game open. I have invited you thrice. I'll invite Rosestar, though, because of bribery. We have blatant corruption in this stream, okay? But at least I'm honest about it. That's what counts. The letter? Oh, you have that stupid letter in! Uh, right, I forgot about that. Wait, that didn't show up in the first one, did it? Oh, it did. I'm just blind. I don't know how to type it anyways. How do you type it? You gotta, you get, if you guys have special symbols, you gotta send the alt code so I can type it. Because I, I don't have that on my Mexican keyboard. 141. One. Okay. I feel bad now, so I'll do that. Sorry, Star Valley. <laughs> there we go. I got a U keyboard, so I have it. Hee 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 yeah, I have Mexican, because that's what I... That's what I used in my Spanish classes, and so I'm reasonably familiar with it. And it has a lot of extra symbols, but it doesn't have that one. Or at least if it does, I have no idea how to get it. OMG, I'm against the Japanese duo, where an IO player I properly uses sacrifice to pocket a flank. It makes no difference. No! Green Vatu. There we go. When was there a skin request for the best skin? Okay. Well, I've already used it, so... <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, I have Parrish on my team. Time to report them at the end of the match. Yippee! Woo! <sighs> okay. Wow, we've had a lot of double tank today, though. I do like that. That's always very nice to see. It's like we're playing ranked, but without, do not fear you know, 10-minute long queue times. Without spending 15 minutes just waiting for the match to start between the queue times and the draft times. Enemies have double tank as well. Yo, let's go. That's a wonky comp, though. Geno solo healer. They've got Buck for the diving, but then they also have Strix in the backline. So I feel like if Buck spends most of the match in my backline, trying to farm Victor and Corvus, I should be able to destroy Strix and Genos. Like, Vatu has an incredible matchup against both those champions. <laughs> Two D-tier champions world. versus an S-tier champion. The maybe the combination of their powers will beat me, maybe not. Of course, Khan and Fernando are going to make that complicated, and maybe Buck won't play the entire match in my backline. Maybe he'll be fighting me instead. That'll make things frustrating. So, Fantastic. let's just grab Omnipresence. And I think I will do armor plating. I'll go back to starting with that item. Just so I don't get too tapped by Strix, right? We don't want to give him any chances to actually win. Soon we will show Ooh, the that's the crafty. I see you, and I am going to buy Unbound. And even if you switch off it, there's still a stun, and there's still a flashbang. So that's still value. Is that shield build any good? It can be. Um, I think most people prefer to play Slugshot. One. And play as an off tank, but if you need a main tank in casuals, and you're playing Ash, then the shield build can be a good form of survivability. The main weakness of it is just that, you know, it relies on the reset card, and against enemy shields and stuff like that, you can struggle to get the reset consistently. Wow, they're all looking at me. Okay. Well, how about I pop over here and say hello to Strix. Bye! Oh, and you're 1 HP. That's cool. Yo, is that green, Fernando? My man? Nice. Catherine Gamble has taste. Okay. Uh... Ooh, do I have a Darkest pocket, by the way? That reload felt faster. Alright, now let me teleport back here to my team. Yeah, I oh, I do have privilege. Let's go. Love it. I mean, feels bad for the enemies going up against the darkest pocketed Vatu, but... You know, it's just in the game. It's good game design, right? Poor guy. I did not need to ult him. Alright, Strix. I've decided it's time for you to die. Goodbye. No counterplay. <laughs> You're playing Strix. I'm playing Vatu. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. Right to jail. I don't even need Shadow Bombs for you, Genos. Come back here. They all just got their shields up. Uh-oh. Hold on. Might be in danger. Oh my king. I got a Corpus Pocket. It's early game. Oh, I ran out of ammo and I missed. That's awkward. 
Got another ult. Die. Man, this is just mean. <laughs> this is just completely mean. Shield build in general doesn't do great, except on Ice Mines. Clear to slug anyways. Yeah, I mean, it's a perfectly acceptable way to play Ash. There are just, yeah. Better options, but it's not like you're totally throwing. You know? Like, at least if we're talking about a more casual setting. Right? Um... But yeah, if you're in ranked, generally the only time you play Ash is as an off tank, and when you do play as off tank Ash, you generally want to play Slug, or in some cases, Battering Ram can be good. Depends on the situation. Hold on, I missed my shot. Hold on, you have DR. Hold on, wait, wow, I just got outplayed. <laughs> Oof. Well done, yeah. Hey, I recognize that build. Actually, it's not my build. Very similar, but not exact. He's got uh, Exhilarate at level 2. I don't have that. Alright. Ooh, Ash is handling this. Oh, she failed it. Strix went crazy on her. Well, I have an idea. I'm going to sneak my way back here. I know Buck knows I'm here. But I know that he knows that. So I'm going to ambush to him. And then die, because... Power costume. <laughs> okay. At least we're fine. Let me pop back here. Let me oh, I aim too high! I aim too high! Strix, you're too short! <laughs> Come on, Ash, finish those kills for me. Get that Genos. Get that Genos! There you go. Man, that was awkward. I actually might have lived that too. <laughs> I can't believe that, dude. Short Strix. Hello. Gotcha. And I have Corvus Privilege. Ooh, Buck's going in, though. He's going to have the Snowball, so let's be careful. They're just really trying to bully Fernando right now. Die. Dodge that. We're both missing, but I got him. There we go. Fuck. Can we not do this right now? He actually said okay, but then he shot me anyways. That's funny. <laughs> or actually, that was... That wasn't Ash. I don't know. I heard an okay. <laughs> Speaking of pistol, that's what I meant somewhat. Why does Trix not have a pistol talent anymore? Or even a good feeling one, for that matter? Yeah, he kind of has one with unauthorized use. Because with that talent, you get the ability to use the flare aggressively. But yeah, I mean, a little bit more of a pistol emphasis, emphasis would be nice. I just wish that they would tighten up the spread and the recoil. And then remove the spread and recoil cards. Because those two cards are just... Uh, they're a relic of a bygone era. That, that's not how we should be designing characters in 2024. Points and in 15 if you seconds. replace those cards with two different cards, right? First of all, you'd have better more colorful options for the champion. Second, the base pistol would be stronger, and so in a Pistol Strix build, you wouldn't need to run those specific cards. And that would also be nice. It's a real shame. Hello. I have lost my Corvus privilege. Let's take this fight carefully. Ooh, Buck knows I'm here, I think. Or maybe he wasn't looking that direction. Oop, hello. Alright. Stabby, stabby. Oh, I can't see. Wait, he one-shot me? Headshot? That's crazy. I can't believe he hit that. Alright, well, I guess I got outplayed. At least we got Genos, but... <laughs> Yikes. Come on, Vic. Run away, run away. I'll be there for you. Oh, Corvus died. What's Corvus doing? What is Corvus doing this round? <laughs> Rose Star decided we made this match too easy. I need to feed a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I'll have touch. There you go, there's your touch, number one. There's a kill on Buck. And let me get in Khan's face. You can stun me all you want, I don't care, I've got Unbound. And. Hold on, give it a sec. There we go, kill you. Boom. Hold on! Wait a minute, I'm missing. <laughs> Don't do that. Where's my Corvus? 
Corvy Poo! I need you! Thank you. Thank you. Alright, team is just getting lots of kills here. Um, I've decided I don't actually want to dive that right now. Let me back up. Fantastic! Is he up unbound? He might. I need more unbound, because that power cows me him. Yeah, he has unbound three. Okay. Do not ult buck then. That is what I have learned. Boof. Oh, and I have a Fernando ult, so I can just go in and get all these kills. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll I'll take that. I'll die to a flashbang. <laughs> I still got the triple kill. That's hilarious. <sighs> Cut right on some slack. They are a Vivian player. They don't have much brain cells to begin with. Oof. Got him. Parrish loses another match despite being a cheater. Unfortunately, that means I lose as well. Hmm. Weird. Cheaters never win, and winners never cheat. I guess it's playing out right before our very eyes. No! Power Cosmium! Bah! Alright. My no emoji is OP. She's my main. I have her in 535, but he's glazing her a bit too much. I'm really not. Look at her win rate. She has the highest win rate in the game by a long shot. 67% at high elo. I don't remember any champion having a 67% win rate at that elo. That's just madness. Like, <laughs> I am giving her the appropriate... Okay, I don't want to use that analogy anymore because that's disgusting saying that about Moji. But like, I'm not I'm not hyping her up too much. I'm hyping her up just enough. Thank you. Because she is a champion deserving of much hype. In terms of her strength, anyways. Uh, Unbound feels so good. Doesn't it? Thirty seconds remaining. Shadow bombs Killing that takes them out. Good. We ambush to the other Fernando and then ambush to you through the wall somehow. All right, figure out that. <laughs> figure out that auto aim. Ooh. Oh, he got me, but we're gonna push it. Just take out the buck. Nine, eight, there you go. Y'all got five, this. Four, three. One. Did he have two thirds win percentage? Uh, who the cheater? Fantastic. I don't know. Andro and Isle hurt. Oh yeah, that combo is rough. Io pocketing anybody is crazy. <laughs> I still haven't seen any clips and haven't seen anything sus when I play versus them. Well, I have seen a lot of allegations, and I myself am suspicious. So, yeah. Better safe than sorry, and you know what? If the devs look at the reports and they decide he's not actually cheating, then I will say correct. It was a sacrifice IO too. We'll let them decide. So there's not much you can do. In yeah, it's quite strong, quite annoying. Five, four, three, two. Your sus because all you've heard is cheater. Well, that plus you know, a lot of suspicious shots. Wondering if a Zon on release switch reached this win rate? I don't remember, but I know some people, on their personal accounts anyways, were achieving like 90% win rates with him. Just farming noobs and stuff. Well, not necessarily even noobs either, they were just farming in general. So... Yeah, I don't remember what his general win rate was. I'm sure some Paladin historians in the chat might be able to elucidate us on that matter. There is this player with a 500 KDA on his own. Dude played his on on release and did not touch him after he got nerfed. <laughs> yeah, he was mental. Alright, bye. Come here. Genos. Okay, they don't touch. GG's. Well, is it really a GG? I was playing Vatu with a Dark Gifts pocket. I don't know how much of a GG that is, but... Um... At least I had fun. <laughs> yeah, I had fun. I can't say much about the enemies, but I had fun. Yay. I didn't ask for the Corvus pocket. I'm sorry. 
What's your win percentage? Uh, let me look up my Vatu stats. They are very good. Like I said, I used to be very good at Vatu. I just kind of didn't stop. I, I stopped playing it as much. So I got rusty, and that's why I'm doing the training stream right now. So that way I can get ready to abuse him in ranked. Where I feel no no remorse for beating people with anything that's overpowered, because it's ranked, and you do what you have to do. Uh, I am typing in the wrong command as well. What am I doing? Oh, boy. Champions. Champion Vatu. There we go. So I have... A... 3.4 KDA and a 72% win rate with this champion, which is a slightly higher win rate than my EV and a slightly lower KDA than my EV. So, very good. I just realized you can also select a Q, so hold on. I wonder if I can make my Bomb King look good. Champion Bomb King. Because my global stats with BK are pretty bad. I spent the first few years of this game maining Bomb King and also sucking, which has permanently scarred my KDA. My win rate is still good, but my KDA is only 2.42. But if I select Ranked... Oh, it doesn't seem to update the KDA. Siege. Yeah. Wait, no, it does update the KDA. Wait, my KDA is Have only 2.44. I guess I fed a little bit too much with rollouts, huh? Okay. How about Casual Siege? 2.39. Wait, my KDA isn't actually that good. Hold on. Okay. I have been feeding with rollouts too much then. <laughs> I know if you look on Paladin's Guru, um, back when it was still relevant and working for like season six and all that, I still had like a three point something KDA Change on him too. Will. It makes no difference. <clears throat> but man, okay. <laughs> rollouts. Being a rollout addict is bad for your health, clearly. Oh, and Stealthy showed us the uh, the Azan. Look at that. 500 KDA, 100% win rate across 30 matches. Last played when Azan first came out in 2022. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, wait, that's not when Azan first came out. Because that's in uh, either July or June, depending on how they write the dates on this bot. But yeah, wow, that's a, that's a character. That is a character of all time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, rollout addiction is an absolute pain to your KDA. You dive in, you get one kill, it's ridiculously fun, but yeah, you end up with a net like one or two KDA. My win rate is the stat that ultimately matters, though, because, you know, I can have a low KDA because I'm doing rollouts, but if the rollouts are winning me the game, then that's worth it. So, you know, a 66% win rate is still very good. Although, I guess that firmly that makes my EV and my Vatu better than my BK, but personally, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like I do better with Bomb King. Um, and it's easier to do better with Bomb King. Maybe that's why I feel like I do better with him. Because I don't have to try as much, and I still get crazy value. Because I just know him like the back of my hand. With Eevee, I have to sweat, but I guess I do well with her. One. Better with her than BK. Mm. Show me you are worthy I shall keep this in mind for the future, when I decide to still play Bomb King anyways, because I don't feel like sweating. <laughs> okay, Makoa's coming around. I ambushed the wrong person, I wanted to ambush Omen. Okay. I'm running in here. No, he got me. I don't have privilege this time, I have to remember that. Wait, Rose Star, you're throwing! Why are you playing Focusing Lens? Solo healer. That's not how you play the game. Haven't you been watching my content? I feel insulted. Man. Try and hit me, try and hit me, come on. Try and hit me. Okay, he's gone. Let's go flank their back. Any gamers up here? Oh yeah, we got a 1 HP buck. Boom. And ambush. And I'll get him around on the other side. Boom. Got that dash. She dodged, but we kill her. Oh, that didn't reload me? Man, the reload animation cancel cannot come soon enough. They still haven't confirmed anything about adding it, but man, they need to. Please. He's gone too long without it. It would just make him feel so much better. It wouldn't even be that much of a buff. What did the Andro say in chat? Oh, I don't know. I made a mistake diving in like that, though. 
Ooh, bad ambush. I get buck though. There we go. Let's make sure we get another overtime touch. Buck is dead, but I think if we play our cards right. Blew him up. There we go. Make sure we're still juggling the points. Uh-oh. That didn't hit Cassie. No, 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 no. No! Ah, oh, man, the ambush didn't go to the right target either. Okay, we lose that. Androx has said, Rostar, I hope your pillow is boiling hot tonight. <laughs> Oof. Wow, that hit. Well done. Can't even be mad about that. That was a good stun. Ooh. I don't know if he was intending to hit me. But by golly, he hit someone. Oh man, these studs. I need Unbound as well. This is actually a pretty tough team for me to flank, apparently. Whoa! Enemy rampage. Nice! 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 <laughs> Man, I love Paladins. What a good game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it didn't put me in the room! Uh-oh. Movement ult. Movement ult. I'm running. I'm running away. And you're dead. Alright, I got Ying ult, but I'm still dead, I think. Yeah, focus fire. I'm not upset at Ying anymore. <laughs> yeah. Good skin. One of the best skins for Ying, honestly. I like it a lot. It makes me happy. It fills me with joy and glee. And all sorts of other wonderful feelings. Alright, back up. And from the shadows. I guess to the dark and dark. I don't know how I want to flank this. Uh, okay, Makoa's dead. I think I can dive you successfully here. There we go, gotcha. Anyone over here? No? Okay. Whoa, hey! Don't do that. I think we're going to defend here. 16 seconds left. Make sure we get Mako off his horse, and we should be fine. Okay, that didn't hit. They're actually bringing out ults, too. Alright, so you can play at that game. There we go. Alright, that works out. Ah! Man, I need Unbound so badly, dude. The CC. <laughs> I can't believe that Makoa lived, and he's full health now! Maldamba! Can you stop being S tier for five minutes, please? Can we please revert the cooldown nerf? Or the cooldown buff, that's all I'm asking. That's all I want, I'm a simple man of reason. Got her! Um. Got him. And boom. There we go. Uh, die! 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 No. Ah. Io exists if this Ying can't aim. <laughs> Oof. Uh, you know, I feel bad for everyone roasting Rose Star, but at the same time, he kind of brought it upon himself, didn't he? I mean, that's like the golden rule of Paladins. Do not play Ying with the damage talent as the only healer on your team. And he Catch broke the golden rule, so... In 15 you know. seconds. <laughs> I mean... There are consequences for your actions. Gleam Evil Mojo for not making three, basing a real heal bot. Two, no, one. see, that's a good thing. That's a great thing, Erlenmeyer. I wish more supports were like that. Lilith isn't like that, and it's a problem. But, you know... Ugh. <laughs> People, for some reason, operate under the misconception that you can play this character with the damage talent as a solo healer. Pretty much the only healer in the game who has that misconception. You don't see Maldamba players solo healing with the sun talent. So why do Ying players do it? I don't know. It's like a, it's like a malignant disease. Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, that's a problem. 
Yeah. Like the very reason damage talents can work on supports is because the base supports aren't very good healers. That's why damage damba, damage pip damaging, etc. work. But that means if you pick the talent as the only healer, you don't heal your team. So, you know. It's a double edged sword. Uh oh. Well, Barrack's dead. Let's just play this a bit calmly right now, team. We're on the back foot. Let's get our tank back here. Oh, nice pick. But yeah. Don't be too aggressive right now. There we go. Got him. Hit Damba. Boom. Stun. Dead. And that's Team Wipe. Alright. Yeah, just put that ult away. We killed them all. No, why'd you shoot that out? I guess you're trying to dismount somebody. I don't know. <sighs> Moji does big damage. She does, yeah, pretty decent damage. Moji's just weird. I wish they didn't make her so overpowered and then decide not to nerf her. That's probably my biggest gripe. Like, I like... I think I ultimately do like certain aspects about the rework. But she just gets too much value right now, man. Like, it's seriously crazy. Uh-oh, am I dead? Yeah. Unbound 3. Is this a stream to protest to the devs about Bot 2? Uh, you could view it that way. Proving that he's OP. I'm also training at him so I can get good at him again, because I enjoy him. Excuse you! Excuse you! I'm trying to ambush here, leave me alone. Yeah, I want to get good at him again because I enjoy him, and also I want to abuse him in rank while I still can. So, you know. Gotta get that free TP, right? No hook. Only stun. Oh, he didn't die to that. Alright, well, you'll die to this. There you go. Oh, they're too far away for an ambush. Got it. Huh? Ha! 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 Huh? Alright, veteran. <laughs> I love getting one shot. That's fun. Dang, they 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 managed to find a faster TTK than what base Bob could do. Never thought I'd see the day. Three years from now, we'll be educating newer players about old Moji techs. Yeah, we'll be rambling in the nursing home about Moji bunny hopping and having magic barrier tech. That's probably the worst thing about the rework, is they got rid of all the tech that old Moji had. No magic barrier tech. Bunny hopping is kind of a joke, and it's also not necessary anymore because she just moves infinitely. And no ult animation cancel tech either. That's gone too, which that's a real shame. Okay. All that type of stuff was fun stuff that you could learn Five, to increase the four, skill ceiling with three, the champion, and when you used four, it, it felt valuable. One. It felt good to use. Like, I actually, you know, well, Flank Moji wasn't my favorite champion, but I did enjoy her because of all that tech. No problem. And being able to use that to outsmart the enemies. And that's not possible anymore. That's the worst thing, genuinely. Alright, they know I'm coming. That's okay. Uh, why is there no one to ambush to? No one's on the objective. What? I can't turn on an ambush. My gosh, why are we playing so passive? Hopefully Cassie dies, or Buck, or someone. King's dead, Andro's dead, Buck's, or Barrick's dead. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, Satsi, no. We're not going to cap this point, are we? Boom. And... Got overtime touch! Omnipresence value! Let's go! That would not have been possible without the triple ambush. <laughs> what a fun talent, dude. Yeah! No, what's Cassie doing there? Man, I should have lived that. Okay. Whoa! Uh, that's not as good of an angle. I'm clipping inside of her. Which, you know, I mean, okay. I'm not going to make the joke I was just going to make. <laughs> I'll leave that to your imagination. All 
Alright, Cassie. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you can stay over there. We come back here. Let me come down there. Ambush and dead. Oh, I miss. Wait, I'm missing. Okay. Back it up. Thank you, Uh. Where is he going? Poking him a little bit here and there. Nice kill. All right. Now let me ambush to you, and let me ambush back there. Go for stun. Dead. Ah, stop stunning me. We should have it, though. Buck, you gonna jump on me? I dare you. I triple dog dare you. That's right. Go back into spawn. Coward! I'm just gonna lurk here. Wait for an opportunity to strike. I think I'm gonna go now. Okay, bad idea. Don't run into the fear, either. Let me ambush behind us, actually. Who's behind us? I don't see anyone! What if I just missed? Ooh, thank you, Sati. Alright, let me get back in there now. Oh, my ambush is gone. Wait, 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 wait. I, mis I miscalculated that. <laughs> we all want to clip inside of Ying, let's be honest. Ah, there you go, Delta. See, Delta said it, not me. So it's not my fault. I'm not the perv here. <laughs> Fan service part of the stream. Yep, yep. This is how Paladins makes their money. And by golly, isn't it beautiful? Oop. Cassie! Nah, she lifts that. Uh, I leached off his leap, but I don't think I wanted to do that, actually. We got 25 seconds left for this. Thank you. And I see Cassie trying to flank again. Who do you think you are? Yeah, you don't win that. We lost our healer, though, so... And our tank. 11 seconds left. Yeah, there's no sense in trying to ult this. No, the shield blocked that, actually. Ah, oh, I would have had him. It is neat they don't shy away from it. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It's tough. Because... You know, everyone understands why they do it. Sexualized skins make money. Because people like that, you know? <laughs> it makes them happy. It makes them feel all bubbly inside. That, that, that's, that's how we'll call it. But over-sexualization of women is also a problem. We do have to recognize that. I think you gotta strike a fine balance and try to do that type of stuff in a more classy way, you know? Like, I... What's a good Capture example of that, actually, in Paladins? In I'm struggling to think. I tell you what, a bad example of that would be the, uh... The, the demon skin for Sky. Five, four, <laughs> That's just full-blown, like, in-your-face lewd. One. Nothing classy about that at all. I'm really struggling to think right now, actually. Of a, a way that's done in a classy sort of format. I don't know. Anyways, I know they know. I'm up here. I'm gonna stun and... Ooh, hold on. Ooh, hold on. Alright, there we go. Kill you now. And then run away. And realize I have nobody to ambush to. Why do I never have anybody to ambush to? <laughs> My team is always playing away from me. Ah! Okay. Get me back in here. We lost our healer, but did we even have a healer to begin with? That's the real question. Makoa's dead. Boom. Boom. He's up here. He's low. Andrew, you got that? There we go. Good. Rip Yag Stream Dream. Ah. Hey, like I said, my price is $100. You want me to do a YAG only stream? I need a hundred solid. Hundred doubloons, hundred ducats, hundred dosh. Not a hundred bits either. That's like, that's one one hundredth of what I need. Okay. Uh, there we go, we win. Nice. That was a fun match. 100 yen. <laughs> okay, let's let's not dip into actual other real-world cur currency. C bleh. 
into other real world currencies because then we're going to have a conversion problem. I don't know how much 100 yen is, but I'm going to guess it's not equivalent to $100. I am also tempted to throw away 10k, 10k bits for this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got you with 100 Argentinian pesos. Yeah, see, I'm not trying to do that, you know? I'm not trying to do that. Yep, zero healing true. Says Rose Star getting less than half of the healing of Maldamba. And also not doing damage and not getting kills. Rose Star... <clears throat> Yes, you got 70,000 healing over the span of 18 minutes. A, that's really low. B, most of that comes from your ults and from passive healing. C, that healing isn't actually saving people. Like, it's not the type of healing that's going to save you from someone who's attacking you. And especially in late game. It just falls off so hard. And Life Exchange gives you a tool that you can quickly time a burst on someone when they're out of cauterize to give them that healing super quickly. That's why it's so valuable. That's why you have to play it as a solo healer. All right, keep it going. More Vatu. 100 yen is 69 cents USD. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, let's specify USD. What happened to the match? Okay, I queued and then someone canceled it. Yeah, if you want to play Focusing Lens, play it double support. Like, let the team know beforehand so we can pick a second support, and then you can do all the damage you want. Right? Like, no one has a problem with you playing Focusing Lens when it's appropriate to play Focusing Lens. Focusing Lens and Resonance are two actually very good talents if you play them well. You just have to play them in the right situation. And solo support is not the right situation. And I'm not harping on Rose Star specifically either. It's just a general message for Ying players, because for some reason Ying players think they can do that. <laughs> They're the only support mains who think they can get away with that. While Dumb mains don't think they can get away with Sun Talent solo healer. Uh, Corvus mains don't think they can play Stunning Visage solo healer. You know? Like, you don't see Geno's mains playing Binary Star solo healer and winning. That doesn't happen. Actually, that might be a bad example. Genos is kind of just bad all around, and so, I mean, why not play Binary Star? But yeah, you don't see, uh, <laughs> you don't see Furia mains going exterminate solo healer. None of that happens, because it's bad. You're telling me runes, runescape gold isn't the official currency? Uh, yeah, sadly. What the heck? What is happening to the game right now? I can't queue. I'm gonna try again, that was weird. What is going on? Would you prefer me to play Frontline Ruckus? Oh, you can play whatever you want. And if you want to play Ying again, be my guest. Just, you know, tell Are us you if you're playing Focusing on so we can pick a second too? support. And again, I'm not harping on you. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's a general thing that happens in the Paladins community that should just stop happening. It's 2024, we should be past this. Vatu. Change what you will. <clears throat> Makes Ooh, we're about to play the Grok double tank on Jag Falls. That's spicy. Terminus on lockdown. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Poor Rose Star, I didn't know Andrew was so mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm making a point. A very valid point. That's all. I do not fear McQueen reporting for duty. I'm going to break every speed limit. Speed Terminus with speed totems on Grok. <laughs> yes. And they've got Betty LaBamba on that team. Well, that'll be good and bad. Really tremendously bad champion versus Vatu. However, against Grok with double tank on this map... This she's actually is okay. Being consumed by so, darkness that but if I just farm her, then she's ending up being a huge shadows. net negative for the enemy team. And they I have Geno Solo heals, so she just does not live that. Unless Sati and Andro kill me, burns, which they're going to be the hardest the champions to fight. Its shadow becomes... I am Screech Androxus, sweat alert, sweat alert. Uh-oh. Androxus in the building. <laughs> Everyone so run and hide and scream in action. terror. <laughs> He's trying to fist us. No. 
You're first buying Horde on Genos. Oh my, yeah. If we lose this game, first buying Horde on Betty. Oh my God. If we lose this game, it's gonna be because of Androxus and Sati. I guarantee you. <laughs> oh my. And bring about their end. All right, let's go. All right, get a view of the surroundings. We got enemies there. She's slowed down. She is dead. And Genos is down here. I missed, but he is also dead. Is he playing Power Cosmium? He's playing Power Cosmium! Power Cosmium solo support with Horde as your first item. Bye. Man. Uh, don't be mean. You've been really toxic in the past two streams, Andrew. Don't be mean. Do not be mean. You're better than this. Okay. Not gonna roast that chance. He's got an interesting strategy. He's trying something different. So you know what? Good for him. Hello. Ow. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're both gonna live that. I am not trying to get hooked right now, Makoa. How about I just slip over here, take the alternate angle. Oop. Andro is a go and a point. Thank you, Terminus. I really don't like fighting Androxus. Man, I've got some Servian seals too. I am juiced up. How lovely. Oh my gosh. My aim has gone to crap. Let me reset then. Let's pop back here. There we go. And let me just ensure that you do not enter spawn. Probably best to save my ult for Androxus, but I just want to make sure I get their support down, period. So. Stop it, pal. You're not granting me anything today. Haha, <laughs> get it? That's a pun because of Pell Grants. <laughs> wow, that's a joke that people understand. I'm so funny. Hi! Die. There we go. Alright, Sachi. Hold on. Hold your horses. Yeah, let me kill Androxus instead. Help with that, anyways. Let's double back over here. And we are just keeping them in spawn right now. I do like that. Oh, Rom, no! Not the ult getting stuck on the pillar. Is that a bot? The way he turned around there was very weird. Very bot-like. I'm not sure. Might be. Don't people ship Corvus and Caspian? Oh, yeah. Very popular ship. Uh, Corpion, as I call it. Or Casvis, as most people call it. Corpion sounds cooler. It's like Scorpion. Corpion. I made some fan art of that one time for people. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I just give the people what they want. I'm a simple man. I am a merchant of popular wares. And wallpapers and stuff. You can actually get that as a wallpaper if you want, by the way. Might as well shout out. If you become a Twitch sub, or you become a $5 and up member on YouTube, you get access to the wallpaper chat on my Discord server, which just has a bunch of my renders. Most of them are in... That was not visible on my screen. I would just want everyone to be aware. That was not visible. At all. But yes, um... Yeah, most of them are in 4K. A few of them are 2K. A few of them are 1080p. Because some of them are older, or some of them... I didn't intend to be wallpapers, but then people were like, Hey, you should make that into a wallpaper anyways. I try to have some standard of quality control, but... You know, doesn't always get mad. Bro got yapping. Yeah. I never die to genosults like that unless I'm yapping. <laughs> Seriously. By the way, this is a thing you can do. If your FPS is able to cap at 300, instead of getting violently thrust off these roofs, you just stand on them. It's not proper standing. Like, I can't jump. And I'm just kind of, like, sliding a little bit. But, yeah. It's a bug in Unreal Engine 3. So, you know. I don't even know if it's necessarily like a Paladin's bug, specifically. Is it technically abusing a bug? I mean, maybe, but like, people set their FPS to different numbers all the time, and it's just a side effect of that. Ow! Die! Thank you. 
Where's that Sati? I wanted to ambush to her, but she's too far away. Ay, 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 ay. Hold on, pal. I'm missing. I'm missing! Let me figure out how to aim real quick. Oh, you hit that. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Drop the paladin smut now. Okay. I'm not a merchant of those wares, okay? I'm not a merchant of black market wares. <laughs> I actually cannot legally make that. Like, if I want to stay a paladin's partner. So, yeah. <laughs> like, I cannot have a lewd Patreon <laughs> or something, for example. Is Corvus good in ranked? He is in a specific situation. You want to have someone you're good at pocketing. It's um, so like if you have a good Androx player on your team, for example, who you want to pocket, and you play with like a general dive comp, he can be good. But he's not good for every situation. When are you drawing Androxus and Lexart? I'm not making that. Cryptic gate keeping us from greatness. Well, it's a sensible rule, okay? It's a sensible rule. Well, I actually didn't do that good. Terminus just got all the kills. 13-0. <laughs> Jeez, man. What a guy. What an absolute guy. Alright. Uh, is it time to swap? How many matches have we played with both parties today? Just three with this party. We played four with... Oh, excuse me. Previous. I don't know why I'm burping. <laughs> I'll give this party one more match. Been gone for a minute? Did they fix Io and Lilith? Yes, they did. People putting their names in anyways. Ha ha. Mine can't reach at 300 FPS, sadly. Yeah. I don't know. Someone has a chart of, like, what each FPS value specifically gets you in terms of results. Um, and I don't have it set at 300 specifically to abuse that. I have it set at 300 just because it's a nice clean number, and it gives me a huge buffer of FPS to work with. So if I get frame drops, it doesn't immediately affect me, unless they're super severe. Aha! That's, that's why I do it. Roadstar999 gotcha. donated $1. I am paying to stay in the party. I, I love bribery so much. <laughs> they should really patch it. It could be considered unfair advantage. Yeah, they should. Andrew, have you listened to the song but I can't I am really blanking as Evie by take Ocean action Music. on it, I though, because, like, like, what, are you going to ban everyone who adjusts their FPS cap in the settings? That's not fair. I mean, technically it is modifying game files, but everyone does it. And, I mean, most games allow you to adjust your cap, your FPS cap anyways, uh, through a slider in the in-game options. And they could add that if they wanted to, uh, and just have it be modified in the file. It's like we're just, you know, doing what other games allow you to do. You gotta let people who have good machines use their machines. And like, what if I had a 240Hz monitor then? You know? You just want me to accept that the game is capped at 170 something FPS? No. I have not listened to that song either, K Traps. Uh, can you send a link to it in the Discord server? That'd be neat to check out. Yeah, it's almost certainly not on their priority list. It's been that way for literally years. But yeah. It's a thing, and if you know about it, you know about it. And, like, it's also probably not as bad as people using configs that go above and beyond to make the game look like crap to get the highest frame rate possible. Because that's honestly more of a file modification. And... You know, roofs are funky anyways, and like, would you ban somebody for abusing the normal 170 FPS cap roofs that send you off really fast? I mean, no. So, I don't feel bad about using it. Maybe I should feel bad, but I just, that's my stance on it. They have no idea what's about to yeah, if you have a 4090, you should be able to have 300 FPS. That's all I'm saying, you know? <laughs> okay, oh, no, they have a money? Roots? No, thank you. This is going to be an unbound start for sure. However, I don't really feel like I need that much armor plating this match, so I'm going to skip Five, that for four, now. Three, I might do one. that or Arcane Warding later, depending oh, on what I'm being harassed by. Attention. They have a ton of ability damage, by the way. This is actually kind of a huge Arcane match. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I'll necessarily need it as Vatu. 
I have general DR, and I hope that'll be just good enough. Ooh, hold on. Mess enough. But there we go. Gotcha. I lost my ambush, though. I'm probably dead. Oh, thank goodness she missed that. Lost my support, though. My Saris, anyways. We still have Ray, so that's good. <laughs> I didn't even look at our own team composition. I have no idea what we have going on right now. Yeah, kill you. Ambush real quick. And... Dead? There we go. Good. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, that reload from Ray. That's so nice. You know, if you have enough reload speed on Vatu, it almost makes up for the fact that you don't have a reload animation cancel. But you'd have to go out of your way to buy Deft Hands or have Ray on your team with proper timing. That's annoying. I don't have to deal with that. Andrew Hello. Oh, I didn't get my ambush back. He's the next flank I am trying to learn. Uh, he's pretty solid right now. Not a lot of people are playing him. He's still on the lower end in terms of flank meta. But he got a cripple added to his rogue's tempo, which is kind of an in-between from the slow and sunny had in the other patches. And that's good value. Obviously, any flank with a cripple is going to be relatively strong, and he still has good damage. So yeah, you know, learn him if you want. I don't play him, though, so don't ask me for tips. I have a 2060 with a 244 hertz monitor. Yeah, if you have a refresh rate higher than 170, you'll probably want to go into your files and edit the frame rate. Although, if you have VSync on, it might automatically set you to that 244 value. But then you also have the downside of playing with VSync, so you have a bit of inherent latency. So... Yeah, there's really no great solution, I don't think. Yo, she's going for me! Girl, stop it! How about I stun your ray? Oh, JK, that missed. <laughs> it fell flat! I fell flat on my face! Oh no! Yeah. It makes character silhouettes stand out so much when people reduce the graphics like that. Yeah. You can't resist me. People use it to get an advantage, but they don't get banned for it. So, you know, if that level of modification is allowed, then modifying your FPS is allowed. And that's okay. And I'm not saying they should get banned either. I mean, I'm okay with it. I don't mind configs. I don't use them personally because I have a powerful PC and I like my games to look good. But, you know, to each their own. Alright, let's see what we can do back here. I want to do a bit of trolling. Hello. Ah, uh, man, you've got... You've got a good life insurance policy, don't you? Health insurance policy, actually. Let me refine the joke so it actually makes sense. Ah, Ray heals, man. Nice ult. That's actually huge. Is she in here? Oh, there she is. Alright, good one. Yeah, I'm using VR on Ambush, and I'm also playing Omnipresence. I'm using my main build, which I've been using pretty much ever since he came out. It has DR on Ambush, DR on Shadow Bombs, Healing on Dash, and also level 2 Ambush range card. I find that the extra little boost really goes a long way. It feels super comfortable. Ah, uh, that hit, and you're dead. Let's go. Alright, ambush back here, and then I'm gonna go in here, and whoa, hold on. That could have gone really poorly. <laughs> Alright, get the double kill. Miss. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Owie, zowie. Hello. There we go. Alright, we push. Nice. Ah. Needs to learn more tech stuff. I'm a boomer when it comes to PC as I didn't grow up with one. Ah, uh, yeah. I grew up with a computer from a very young age, so I was always super interested in it. At least when it comes to the software side of things. I'm still dreading replacing my CPU. I know I have to, but I've just kept putting it off. <laughs> been doing other things. Been playing video games as a form of escapism because I realized that I have to replace the CPU because <laughs> it's dying. Uh... I'm also still working on finally getting a driver's license. Yes, I know I'm late to the party, but... Yeah. Kind of been putting that off a little bit. Yeah, two tank is still meta. 
Always has been, always will be. And frankly, it should be that way. It's just good. It's just fun, man. It's the best way to play the game. Here, Ray, let me help you with that. Double stun. Oh, there you went. Die. Triple kill! And they're dead. You in NYC or what? No. See, I work from home because, you know, I'm a streamer. And I just don't go out that much, you know? And if I need to go out, I have other ways of getting there. So, like, yeah. But I need to get it, though. Which is why I'm working on it. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I don't like having to do all this bureaucracy stuff, you know? Schedule an appointment at the DMV and then, uh, the scariness of, oh, what if I fail? Even though I'm probably the safest driver on the road. Because <laughs> I take that way too seriously. Oh, boy. Overtime. Road is not touch grass. Yeah. No, nah, it's not even that. Escort the Pano. Really, I want to get it partially just so it makes getting a passport a lot easier. Because the other alternatives for, like, documentation and stuff like that for getting a passport is, like, just annoying. And, like, I don't want to have to deal with that specifically. So, you know. It would simplify that dramatically. And then... Then I can go and visit all the countries I want to visit. That's really what I want to do. That's, like, the end goal of all this. I want to travel to Europe and go to different places. Because, you know, that's fun. There you are. Did that hit? I can't tell if it hit. Does she have unbound? Uh, no, so it probably didn't. Oh well, it was a movement. Would you ever go to Korea? Uh, probably not. I'm not a Korea boo. <laughs> uh, yeah, not super high on my priority list. Yeah. Okay. Diara saved me. Oh, she canceled it. All right, huge. I didn't kill her, but I don't need to. Torvald's going to confirm the dub. I'll kill Sky real quick, and they don't touch. GG. Travel inside of the U.S. when you retire. Everything is ADA compliant here. Hmm. <laughs> I I've actually traveled to quite a few places in the U.S. Because when I was younger, my family would take trips to like different places. I've been all the way to the West Coast, all the way to the East Coast. I I've been around. Well, I haven't been outside the country yet, so I'm looking to do that. Like, I guess my biggest goals would be, like... Oh, yeah, I need to swap the party, by the way, if you want to join say name in the chat. Yeah, my biggest goals are, like, Italy's super high on my list. You know, I'm a Roman culture geek. What can I say? And, you know, it's a very pretty place, so I want to visit that. Um, Spain would also be pretty cool to visit. Uh, certain parts of Mexico also seem nice. I'm very interested in Mesoamerican culture as well, and... Visiting cultural heritage sites there would be cool as well. Um, all right, let me let me invite some people real quick. But yeah, in general, you could just drop me in like I don't know Germany, Norway, Netherlands, wherever, and uh, <laughs> that would be fun too. There you go. Have invites. Uh, one more person is Rose Star actually, because bribery. Right, can't forget that. There you go. You are 100 years late. Europe has fallen. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Actually, uh... Be very careful with, uh, how far back we go. Because, like, if we go back 100 years, Europe has just recovered from World War I. And if we go back, like, 80 years... <laughs> I, I don't think I'd want to be in Europe 80 years ago. I'm just gonna be perfectly honest. Um, <laughs> sounds I like a bad idea. I live in Germany. Come to Cologne. Yeah, Germany is very cool, will. too. It makes no difference. I think, ultimately, I want to move to somewhere in Europe, but I have to actually see what it's like first. So, you know, that's step one. In it. Number one is actually visit and see what it's about. Greece. Yeah, Greece is cool, too. It's just, the thing I like about Europe is it's so rich with culture and history, because it's very well developed. Very tight-knit as well, so, like, you know... I could potentially do a thing where, like, okay, I fly to, I don't know, where's a popular place? All right, I'll fly to Paris, 
And then I'll take a train to Rome and then go to Madrid or just like, you know, bop, 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 bop. Because Europe is roughly the size of the United States in terms of like, at least the countries I'm interested in. So, you know. You won't see culture if you come now. Listen, I know there are tourist traps and things, but so <laughs> I still want to go. Yeah, cathedrals too. That's another reason I want to visit Spain. Because, A, I know a decent bit of Spanish, so that helps. Um, but B, yeah, they have really cool architecture there with some of their buildings, cathedrals, and stuff like that. I'm Dutch myself and went to vacation in Czechia. Literally just a single train ride. Yeah, see, that's cool. I like that. That's part of why I want to move somewhere in Europe. It's just, you know, having quick access to all different types of places. Sounds nice. Don't listen much to K-pop, but I don't mind it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure my sister would love to go to Korea at some point. She's huge into K-pop, but me, not so much. Uh, wow, double sniper, Tyra, and then they've got Genos. I guess this is just an armor plating unbound match. Five, Britain was four, glorious and cultured a hundred years ago. It's not now. Go. Yeah, you'll, you'll forgive me if I don't come and visit Go UK. <laughs> I'm not, and not super hyped about that. Visiting the UK, to me, as an American, just sounds like visiting, I don't know, the Midwest, but with worse food. Unless you're in London, but then London just sounds congested and awful. And you know, what, am I going to go look at a huge clock? Like, okay, I don't really care. Or am I going to go visit the queen? Or excuse me, the king? Go see uh, King... Is, is it King Charles now? Who's the king? I don't know. I don't care. It's Britain. Who cares? <laughs> Plus, as an American, it would be a uh, heresy to uh, yeah, visit the UK. <laughs> right? Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm only kidding slightly. Go to Turkey, it's cheap and beautiful. At least it was cheap last year when I visited there. Yeah, there's some neat things there. Ah, don't smite me. There we go. <laughs> Got him. I saw a, uh, a video on the Daily Dose of Internet of a picture from... Or a video from Turkey. Just like some nature there. It was splendid. Like, didn't know Turkey had stuff like that. Not super familiar with the region. All I know is, as a Roman history enthusiast, I'm still so salty that Istanbul is not called Constantinople. But, you know. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess we lost that battle, didn't we? So, uh. <laughs> Oh well. Would rather go to UK or France? I'd actually rather go to France. I, I, I love clowning on France, you know. We, we all love memeing on France. And France has its own problems. But, like, it's still a very pretty country. So... Like, in all seriousness, it would be fun to vacation there. <clears throat> Huge tourist traps and, you know, I'm sure it'd be difficult <laughs> to make that happen and have it be a good experience, but, you know. There goes Andrew's zero death I think there's game. more to enjoy there. <laughs> yes, I'm not trying to go for zero death today, but yeah, oh well. Guess I failed. It was honestly the most beautiful nation state in the world by the start of the 20th century. You have to step over human feces now. I don't know. Hello, Genos. Do you like death? I'm back here. Ah. Alright, got you. And... Wow, she's just abusing the spawn doors. Okay, well. Have fun up there. You're not going to defend the payload single-handedly. Is Strix behind us? Oh my gosh, he is. What are you doing back there? Sir. <laughs> Die. Hope my next duty station is Germany. Would be sick to check out. Yeah. I like Japan because me a weeb. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a weeb. I'm not a Koreaboo. Japan and Korea are cool places of their own. But, I don't know. I guess I'm... They've never excited me as much as... Europe and certain, Got you know, Latin American places, in which, I, again, Latin American places also have their own problems. Everywhere has its own problems. But for me, it's just like, I really like, you know, the Five, history four, there. Three, um, 
One. You know. Like Earl and I went to see uh Crap, I almost I almost confused Chichen Itza and Machu Picchu. That would have been embarrassing. You went to see Machu Picchu. I'd love to go there. Or go to Chichen Itza, or someplace like that, you know? Oh wow, they're both just back there. Okay. I'm revealed, but I don't care! Oh, Atlas is here too? Alright, I'll take all of you on. Boom. Oh, if only I could have sniped Knessa from there. <laughs> okay, I'm coming up on ult, and Knessa's also dead, so that's great. And Strix is dead. Do they have a bot? Oh, Strix might be a bot now. Yeah, yeah, Tyra. Just saw your tier list, and I noticed you're always so worried you so to share your opinions on a video. What if next time you share your opinions on stream so we can probably discuss on a topic? I'm not scared to share my opinions. What makes you think that? Is it because of the disclaimers? I put out the disclaimers because when I don't do a disclaimer like that, there are a lot of people who tend to get very upset. Like, they don't realize I'm stating an opinion. <laughs> and I just like to keep my comment section a bit more clean, you know? I, I don't want people to embarrass themselves by being toxic. Heard <laughs> that Turkish people are racist? Oh gosh. <laughs> Not the stereotypes. There are racist people in every country, sadly. You know? It would be nice if we could say racism is done and over, but, you know, it's not, so we cry. The Smasher Pass tier list? Oh, gosh. Last time I remember he did the tier list on stream was when he did a fast food tier list? Oh, yeah, that. The controversial fast food tier list. But yeah, no, I'm... I mean... <laughs> If I was scared to share my opinions, I just wouldn't make a tier list. So, yeah. <laughs> that was an underwhelming match. Yeah. I think Strix did indeed bot out. Genos might have been a bot too. That was just really bad. So let's move on. Hmm. My recommendation would be Crete and Evoya. Not sure how it's called in English. I'm not sure what that is either. Let me look that up. Evia, Greece? Oh, it's just an island. Okay. Siege. Ooh, Timbermill. Let's go. Let's frickin' go, dude. Love this map. Change Especially for Vatu. Have you come to accept our truth? Only one in the Smash tier will be Grok. Nah, 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 because you can't forget Barrack. You gotta add Barrack there, too. Then you have a perfect tier list. I only remember that Cassie was a favorite. Yeah, accurate. Would you agree that support is the easiest role to play physically, but hardest to play mentally? Uh, I would disagree, because I think tank is the hardest to play mentally, in terms of making space, and understanding the tempo of the fight, and creating the front line for your team. It's a very abstract concept, and one that a lot of players struggle to get right. And support is a little easier than that. Still requires a lot, but I think tank edges it out there. Tank might also in some ways be the easiest to play physically if you're playing a champion like Fernando, but, you know, most supports in the game have auto-aim, so that's kind of just a wash. Wasn't that because she was one of the only humans he liked? No, I, I, I have a pretty fleshed out smash tier. <laughs> um, hold on, I can pull it up. I can pull it up. Where is it? Smash or Pass 2.0 from May of this year. Ah, yeah, here we go. My pain. It is all there it is. Delicious. Yeah. Ten up there. Here is what Paris used to look like. Wow, a bunch of asterisks? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, I dog. No idea what's about to descend upon them. I am going to grab this again. So many snipers today. A lot of Strix players, a lot of Knessa players. Uh, do I want to go armor plating this match, or can I get away with not getting that? Regardless, I need Unbound. I think I'll do Unbound Kronos, Five, actually. Four, three, pass on go. Vivian? Yeah, of course pass on Vivian. Seek them out and end She's kind of gross, and also, I don't like her personality. Hottest woman in Paladins? Oh boy. 
Yeah, we're just gonna have to agree to disagree on that one. Ah, I fell, but so did he. Okay, you've got a healing pocket, so I'm not going to commit that super hard. Oh man, he was so low. Vor is tickling me in the back, which, you know, feels nice, but, like, this is a battle, so we can't do that. Not right, not right now. Maybe later. Ah! Run away! Oh, he hit me. Pass on Yag Heresy! Wow, you mean I'm passing on the creature that's not human? Has more in common with insects than people? Well, Whoa. there goes Andrew's zero Enemy death thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Okay, we're losing that. No way. Right, let me sneak up here. That dash did not land up here. That's so sad. There's Vora. I knew you were coming up here. And I don't really want to stick around, I don't think. Whoa, sir. Whoa, sorry, I'm missing. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I forgot how to play Vatu. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. He didn't die. What? <laughs> Why did that combo not kill him? I thought I was playing with a damage buff, but I guess not. Yikes. Why are we dying so much this match? Maybe I do need armor plating. I can't move, I'm glitched. What do you mean? That's strange. Enemy around you. Can't kill anything. Can't contest the objective. Everyone's dead. No one's here right now. What the heck is going on? Master Pass Talus. The fact that you're even asking that question to Tazi is grounds for a ban. Um, but I know you're being facetious, so I'm not going to. But that's disgusting. And never ask that again, or I will actually ban you. My inputs aren't working. Uh, maybe you should, like, replug in your controller or your keyboard or something. Capture points I mean, can can you back seconds. out and can you use other applications on your computer? Because if you can, then it might be a Paladin's issue. But if not, then it's probably your hardware issue. I tried that. Five, but yeah, I guess restart. Four, three, two, one. <sighs> okay, let's go. Everything else is working, so you can type, but you can't move. Okay, well, yeah, restart. Restart. And we will try and win this game that we're already losing horribly, while being 4v5. yippee ki yay Woohoo. That's fun. Oh, I can't see. All right. Let's just hard retreat. The Strix has an incredible amount of pockets, which frustrates me greatly. So how about I kill the pocket, and then kill the other pocket, and then kill Strix. Oh, no way he hit that. All right. What is the mature age of Scadron kinds? Not Talus, I can tell you that much. If you want to look at a mature Scadron, look at Vatu. He's probably like middle-aged Scadron. And then Maldamba would be old Scadron. Whoa, hello. Ah! Okay, great. I have no way to touch point, and I also shouldn't touch point right now. So let's not do that. Wait just a sec. Alright. Your light flickers! And you have a crazy, crazy healing. So... Yeah, alright, let's do that. That. Oh, I missed. She should have died there. I messed it up. I'm messing everything up this match. Dang, Vora, you got so much movement. You got eviscerated by that, but you still killed me with a DOT. How many tendrils did you get? Double tendril, change of faith, dance with fate. I see, I see. That explains a lot. Okay. Vatu is 34? No wonder he has wrinkles. No, probably more like 40. Plus. I would guess. Or maybe less. Maybe he's just been, I don't know, smoking too much incense or whatever you do with that. And also, you know, the stress of being a ninja caught up to him. Made him age faster. 
Because, you know, with how limber he is, I mean, I guess you can't be too old. I'm still locked out of controls. That's super weird. Come here and die. Thank you. Now come here and die. I missed. Oh, Vora, what are you doing over here? Boom. Got him. Alright, nice. Where did Vora go? Back there, eh? Strix has an open line of sight, so I'm going to pop down here for a sec. Alright. I want to try and push that Strix out, but i got to be careful about how I do it. Got to wait for an opportunity. Okay, someone's coming over here. It's Khan! Okay, Strix just isn't up here anymore. I'm probably dead, Devora. Where did she go? Oh my gosh, she was behind me. Ah! Talos made it out of spawn! Yay! Day 52 of waiting for Nyx to be able to fly. Yeah, no thank you. Let's not make Nyx absurdly overpowered, please. Vatu does a lot of yoga. Yeah, I guess. Is Southeast Asia dead? I can't seem to get a match. Yeah, it's been pretty much dead for a while. Match is dropping very low player count. It's not good. Hey, Vora, come over here. Vora, come over here. Vora. Vora, come over here. Okay, or not. Fine, I'll come to you. Die before you get bail off. There we go. Boom. Dead. Defend the point. And we actually managed to take a point. Let's go. We can do this. 4v5, I believe. I believe in the power of the team. If anyone is getting flight next, it's Yag. Ah, truly. <laughs> That's great. The flying worm. That's what I want. Changing servers also isn't fun because of 300 plus ping. Yeah, it's rough. It's really rough to be an SEA player right now. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Mm. Mm. Yay. Delicious. Five. I'm going to get more Unbound now, because that's a lot of CC, and <laughs> we'll see if we can clutch this up. It'll be crazy if we cap. Oh wait, Talos is here! Talos is functioning! Yay, let's go! Alright, we can win. I believe. I believe in the power of the team. Die! Oh, there's Saris. You know what? She should be dead, but I'm bad at the game, so she's not. That's literally my only excuse. Alright, gotcha. You gonna come up here, Vora? How about I come to you? Oh, that hit! All the way up there, no way. How did that hit? <laughs> that was- I was so far away from that obliteration. Eee. Yeah, if that didn't hit me, I would've lived too. That's so sad. But hey, with comeback mechanic and the fact that we're 5v5 again, we are looking pretty good on this cap. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, that's not a good sign. You gotta get Strix out of here. Yeah, walk into Shadow Bombs, please. There we go. Boom. Do a lot of damage. I got my ult back. So let's play it chill for a moment. Let's get everyone grouped up here, and then I'll use my ult on somebody. I hear Pip up here. Or possibly down there. Alright, Vora. And... die? Why did I miss that? How did she get... Why did she move so fast? Nimble, three? Oh, no, we got a... Wait, guys, why didn't we get a second touch? I got you overtime. Where's Khan? Where's Io? Where's everybody? Hello? Okay. At least I'm not the only incompetent person on this team. <laughs> oh boy. 10 and 8, but yeah, sadly Rose Star was not able to play the game there, so... Yeah. Oh well. And he's not here. Are you gonna come back to the party, Rose Star? Or should I invite someone else? It crashes. Oh no. 
Why do people not want comeback mechanically so silly? Yeah. <laughs> people just get frustrated because they lose against it, and then they're like, this shouldn't be a thing. Not realizing how bad it would be for the game if it actually wasn't a thing. <sighs> I sent in DMs, it's honestly worth seeing. Sent what? Paris in 1920s in color. With sound design added. Okay. I'm Donald J. Trump and I Oh my gosh, I forgot to get ads when I open something <laughs> in Discord. Go away! I don't want politics on this stream. Alright, open it in the browser. Look at all those old dudes. Ha. Look at that silly hat. Ha. Look at that silly hat. Ha. The colorization here is really weird because sometimes it makes them look AI generated. Go back a bit and see the buildings. Man, honestly, it would look better if it wasn't in color, because you can tell it's like an AI filter that just made it look really blurry. It doesn't look real. Yeah, they casually just built a Parthenon in Paris. What are they doing? Yeah, like, it's hard to tell what's going on there, because, like, the filter is bad. Anyways, how about I invite Rostar back? And how about IQ? Yay! <sighs> what do you think about credit generation in this game? I'm so used to buying Horde that when I don't, I feel I get them so slowly. Uh, why are you buying Horde at all? Horde is terrible. Don't buy Horde. Please. It's bad. Credit generation is fine. You don't need Horde. If a match is too fast, Horde doesn't even pay itself off, so there's no point. And, yeah, you're, you're literally better off just going right for the items you want rather than buying Horde. It's not worth it. <clears throat> they look richer than we are now. True. It could also just be showing you the richest parts of France. You know, not, not everywhere in France, especially after World War One, is going to be looking like that. Like, you got to be careful not to look at history through a rose-tinted lens, because... Yeah, there's a lot of good, but there's also a lot of poverty. Yeah, like, those are the richest parts. I buy Horde as a form of psychological warfare. Ah, yes. This person is bad because they bought Horde. Surely they won't beat me. Oh, what? How do I get clobbered? No. I had to default my controls to get it to work. Wow, that's so weird. Old-timey stuff looks cool, but I can't go back and live without the internet. Yeah. And it's not Jeez. like you can't still go see beautiful buildings in Paris today. I mean... Shoot! You Change can just look up some of these buildings. No uh, Paris. What if I just Google Paris? Our truth? Wow, Google's taking its sweet old time. Come on. There you go. Uh... Yeah. Like, this is all still here. So, you know. <laughs> now, a lot of these pictures will make it look, like, more picturesque, but in general, like, you know. You can go watch videos of people just walking through Paris, too. Do you know about the Paris Syndrome? I think that's what it's called. I vaguely heard of it, but I forget what it is right now. So, I don't know. In London, a house at this time would cost 500 pounds on average, 21,000 pounds in today's money. Now it's about 750,000 pounds. Yeah, that's wild. Housing is a frustrating thing. Of course, part of why that would have been back in the day is, you know, less population. Like, when you have a lot more people, like we have 8 billion people on this planet, there is more demand for housing. Not enough houses to go around, price goes up, yada yada. But also, like, bad policy decisions and stuff will lead to houses being more expensive. It's a whole big mess. Today I, woke up. I don't Jeez. pretend to even know remotely Marvelous. enough about that, though. 
Let's just keep doing stuff. Wow, they have a double support, double tank comp with Talus? What's going on here? <laughs> I'm gonna grab, uh... Chronos, I guess, because I have Corvus privilege, and let's just win the game or something. <laughs> just don't pick the unsealed and we're fine, Rose. Uh oh. <laughs> Does Rostar even have a high level con? Like a high enough level on this account? Because he's restarting, you know, a new account. Might not have Storm of Bullets. Oh, he does. Okay, yeah, play Storm of Bullets. Five, it's just better. Four, it's just better. Three, two, one. All right, go, 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 go. Let's go farm their supports. And then farm Talus. And then farm their tanks. And then farm Rom for ultimate charge. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, no beams. Oh, that reload speed feels so good. All right, where did Talus go? There he is. All right, yeah, you teleported. Excellent stun. We come up here and help fight Rom. I already have my ult. Just to really rub it in, I'm gonna stun him. Pause, I'm missing. Wow, am I bad? I might be bad, guys. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, he's dead, good. Boom. Oh, no, my privilege. Come back here. <laughs> Die. How dare you. Ah. You will not kill my Corvus pocket and live to tell the tale. Oh, I didn't get an assist for that. Man, too much shooting shields. Hey, get stunlocked, Bozo. <laughs> I should stop wasting ult just to be mean to Rom. That's not a good plan. Where's his portal? I don't know. Where is he? Up there? Dead? Alright, good to cap. How do I carry bad teammates? Um, get good at Vatu, have a Corvus pocket, and there you go. Now you just gotta be good at the game and play a carry role. So something like DPS, flank, you know. Ideally something meta, and... Yeah, it's much harder to carry on a role like support and certain tanks, although tanks can also be a carry role if you play them well. Helps if you can actually hit your targets. What am I doing, Talos? This is embarrassing. Talos, this is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Alright. You know what? Stun Ying instead. There we go. Talos. Talus, where did you go? Okay. Oh boy. You're still gonna die. I don't know why you just did that. Here, Ron, give me some old charge. Thanks, a bunch. Right, I'm gonna go say hi to your gang now. Shadow Bomb is stuck with her. Let me refresh ambush for the DR. Ooh, her teleport is down now. I think I kill her. Nope. Not with all that. Man, the Ying ult is so strong. <laughs> Early game. Wow. Oh boy. I don't want to fight both of you. Calm down. Alright, I should win this. Yep. And pop up there. Gonna beam me? Ah, you're gonna go into spawn. Unlucky. Thirty seconds remaining. What are you doing back here? Stop it! No shield. Get bursted. Nice sphere. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Overcharged! Nine, eight, seven, I can just six, straight up max out Kronos right now, though. Four, that three, sounds amazing. Because now I have one. basically Kronos 5. <laughs> I have 20% from Corvus, 30% from myself. There will be a little bit of diminishing returns, but it's going to be super fluid. Power. 
Where am I going right now? Okay, we're not pushing this. I almost solo pushed the point with term while my whole team was 1v1ing elsewhere. Yeah, Term can be good, but he is a character who's tougher to carry with because of his melee restriction. If you play against the wrong champions, you're just going to have a tough time. I tried to do that yesterday for my video. <laughs> my team picked Betty and Dredge with absolutely no other damage champions. And the enemies had four really good duelists. They had a... Uh, Knessa, Leon, Androxus, something like that. <laughs> and I am the only reason that game was even remotely close, but, you know, still can't really carry that with Term. And you're complaining about Overcharge, but he's playing Bot too. Yeah, I know. Shh. Don't worry about it. Pre Vora Paladins was way better. Well, I like Vora. Vora's great. Vora is one of those few champions that I think absolutely belongs in a hypothetical Paladins too. She has added a lot to the game. Fun character. Very stylish character. She's nice. Oh, I didn't reload? Man, please! Just let me do it. 50% of the way through my reload. Just let me get it if I use an ability. Give me the animation cancel. Please, Evil Mojo, I'm begging you. Set his damage back to, what was it, 280 per dagger? And give me a reload animation cancel. Make Vatu great again. Okay. Uh, we are not going back after we get the reload animation cancel. We're not going back. There you go. I got a bit of political puns for both parties. You're welcome. I don't want to offend. Ah! Hello. Ow. Run away. Where's that Ying? She's one. Boom, pop her, and I'm gonna wait here. Wait, he's coming for me. Wait, he knows. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay, I got my ambush back. We're good. Pop. I'm gonna stun you before you stun me. And then I'm gonna kill you. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Very slowly. What if I just missed every single dagger? Ah. Do you think Nyx should be in Paladins too? I think with some slight modification, she is a very good tank design. Like, the poison is probably the most controversial thing about her. Because it lasts forever, and it's also percent damage. But the fundamental concept of a character who synergizes her abilities like this, where you pop Royal Presence, you convert damage into damage over time, which is a really cool, unique mechanic that is, all in all, very good. And then you combo that with your passive, where you get extra healing, and then you also combo that with your ultimate that can cleanse the purple health. That is awesome. So, that's why I like her. That's why I think, yeah, she belongs in Paladins. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, come back here, Talus. Uh, stop being so tiny. Child, go away. <laughs> there we go. Up we go! No spawn door for you. Sorry. Right, you can make it in. But that's okay. Rom's dead. Good. Just blowing up the shield, huh? Get him. Get him, he's so low. Thank you, team. Oh man, I gotta stop missing this Fury out here. Shadow Bombs, go! Yay! I died though. Ah. Next guide. Uh. Feel like a lot of people don't understand purple health. I'm not a great person for making a Nyx guide, because I don't actually play her that much, but I guess I do have some things I could help elucidate for newer players. I haven't made a guide in a few months after the BK guide. They haven't been performing as well as I wanted them to, but I suppose that's not an excuse to stop making them outright, except they do just take a lot of effort. I think I need to find a way to make, like, lower effort guides, you know. Don't make them so overwhelmingly complex and high quality. <laughs> the Eevee guide will be the one exception, but, like, I don't need to make a crazy complex guide for, like, Fernando, for example. Are they really making Paladins too? No. <laughs> 
I, we like talking about hypothetical paladins too, or like if I were to do paladins one again, I wouldn't include X character, Y character, whatever. But uh, yeah, no. The only way we will ever get a paladins two, in my opinion, is if Smite two does well, and then Hi-Rez will be like, oh yeah, we can expand this to our next most popular game. If that doesn't happen though, Smite two flops, then uh, do not expect paladins two. As a matter of fact, I dare say, expect Hi-Rez to fail as a company wholesale. Nick's training stream win. I'm not doing a training stream for every character. I'm doing a Vatu training stream because I want to abuse the funny OP character in ranked. And I also got frustrated from the Androxus training stream. And the only reason I wanted to do that was because I wanted to get better at Androxus. Because I'm level 100 with it. And I'm the world's worst level 100 Androxus. But that didn't go too well, so... Yeah. Bye. I don't know why I'm missing this Furious so much. I shouldn't be. Not like she's hard to hit. Now why did you go and do that, Talus? That wasn't very wise. Ah, uh, he's got healing. Okay. Oh, she got it. Alright. Good TP. Ah, come back here. I'm up too far. Guess I'll ambush to that just to reset my DR. And I don't think they're touching point either, so... Wait, they actually got overtime? No way. Just gonna stand in your way. <laughs> I'm dead! But it's okay! Because I blocked him from walking to point. Yay, we did it. Doctor Strange training stream? Now that's something I can get behind. You can have a Nyx stream so you can use her to rank. She is the best point tank. Yeah, but also I don't really feel like I need that much training to do that. It's not like she's particularly hard. Man, I farmed that lobby. <laughs> I had Corvus privilege the entire time. It's disgusting, but man, it's effective. Pretty good win rate so far today. We only lost two games of Vatu. I am happy with that. And I'm not lowering my Vatu KDA in the process. Look at that. Beautiful matches. Siege. Oh no, not nice mines. I don't want to play Vatu here. <laughs> this map stinks. Change what you will. Flanking. It makes no difference. Alright, yeah, make sure we have Dredge so or Willow or someone. Never want to play on this map without a blaster. That's like rule number one of ice mines. Ooh, yeah, two blasters. Oh, there we go. That'll be good. Only lost two, of two games, and one of those was a 4v5 for most of it. Yeah. Vatu's pretty spooky. Pretty strong champion. He's fun. He's I just too good right now. Dark. And he, again, you don't need to do much. Revert the damage buff and get rid of the DR on dash because you shouldn't be punished as an enemy for shooting a well-placed shot on a slippery Vatu. Do those things. Give him a reload animation cancel so he feels even more fluid to play, and he will be perfect. Don't touch him. Leave him alone. Just, that'll be great. That's all you have to do. Have fun farming their team that doesn't have a tank. Oh yeah, no tank, no support. This will be easy. <laughs> they have triple blaster though. If they win this game, that's going to be why. But, I mean, they're not going to win this game, so. <laughs> yeah. How long are you going to stream? Uh, we're probably gonna end stream, stream soon, actually. I started stream a little bit late, and we're already three hours in. This may very well be the last match. Yeah, Lifesteal Vic gonna farm your team. Oh boy. They're all five gonna buy Bloodbath. That's the secret to their success. <laughs> Low-key, though, they should actually do that, because, you know, otherwise how else are you gonna get healing? Bloodbath Life Rip. Gotta bring it out. Yeah, I play with max FOV, so I can see the most stuff. The only reason I can possibly think of for wanting a low FOV is to make the enemies bigger on your screen so it's easier to hit them. But with a higher FOV, you have better spatial awareness. And for certain abilities, especially those that put you in third person, playing with a low FOV is so bad. Like, for example, you do not ever want to play with a low FOV on EV. You should always play with the max. Because if you play with even the default FOV or the low FOV, 
you just can't see anything around you in your sword. Like, you genuinely can't see anything. It's so bad. Twilight so. approaches. Smothering light laden eyes. Yeah. I think, this you know, it is a little harder to play or to aim with the higher FOV. Or smaller. But it's worth it for the spatial awareness. Yeah, 120. Just like that. Don't you think Nando is miles better than Nyx? No. He's great, but Nyx, no I mean, you just can't argue with her strength right them. now. The stats speak for themselves, and the amount of damage, crowd control, and survivability she has is immense. Fernando's great, but, you know, he's not miles better than her. Absolutely not. For me, pretty please. Five, they have a bot? Yeah, four, Betty's not here. Three, I'm just gonna buy Kronos, two, and... One. Play Farmville! Let's go! Woo! We might do one more match after this. This looks like it's going to be a total blowout. Which is very sad. I wish it wasn't, but, you know. It's the enemy team's fault, really. They're the ones who picked the terrible team comp. Bye! I don't actually want to be over there. I don't think I want to be there, either. Let me wait for a right click. Thank you. Kill the bot. And... Pop up here. There's the double kill. Killing spree. Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Okay, Drogos, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. There we go. I died, but it's worth it. Making sure we cap. Yeah. Let's get more Kronos. I feel so embarrassed that I missed Victor like that. I was scared because I was getting pressured by Tyra. Um, doesn't show on the stats card at the time, but like, yeah. She was there too, and so I was like, I gotta clean up this kill. I, I gotta be careful. Like, yeah. I was freaking out because of her and then trying to track that. I have to stay focused, stay disciplined with this character. Hit the shots consistently. Just like that. And then I'm going to get revenge on you with a juicy stun. And he's dead. Good. Wow, Drogo's cleaned up all those kills. Good shot on BK there. Nice. Eddie's a bot, though. So, like, this this is just sad. Sad match. Bad matchmaking, bad team comp, bad everything, really. Alright, I'm not going to push up that far. Whoa, he's barraging up there. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh, I didn't make it in that room. Ah. Oh man, he was so low. Alright, I'm gonna ambush back there just so I can get heals. Our healer is dead. Come back here. I'm not missing you that time, Natazi. It's not gonna work a second time. I will not let it. I actually went into BK, but I ambushed two Drogos. Fake that one out. Why did that combo not kill him? Did I miss something? It didn't look like I did, but he just lived that. Very strange. I return from the shadows. I was playing Nyx earlier and got ulted by Khan five times because she has no mobility, unlike Nando. Yeah, that's literally her only weakness, is no mobility. But she's still strong enough to make up for that weakness. And again, it reflects in her win rate. She is a monster tank right now. Just gotta play her reasonably competently. Alright, I'm just gonna go for that, because I was spooked. Enemies were looking at me. Yeah. Also against Connolt, something you can do is you can try and anticipate when he's going to use his ult on you, and then you can block it with a shield preemptively or block it with your ult preemptively because you have to remember that has crowd control immunity also guys what is that grouping willow standing right next to khan getting both of them blasted by bk you do not want to stand that close to each other on this map especially against three blasters come on now if you are a god gamer you can predict khan with your ult you don't even have to be a god for it like on a lot of maps if he's trying to throw you off the map you can predict that pretty easily. For example, if you see Khan going over by the docks on Fish Market, and you then you turn and see him look at you, 
if your reflexes are fast enough, you put down the shield and you bait it out. Same goes for any tank, really, who has a shield. Fernando, Capture Terminus, Khan. In 15 seconds. Don't flank me, Andrew. You're gonna die. <laughs> I doubt that very much. Five, four, three, Let me get master riding. It's two, this map. I feel one. slow. I gotta go faster. Well Does anyone have master riding? Damba does a little bit. I'm gonna be first to the punch here. So let's slip all the way over here before they can see me. And hello, Tyra. You've got the R, so I've decided I don't want to fight you. Not like that, anyways. All right. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna die. Wait, Damba's a beast. Hold on. Man, he's actually one shot. I've got to stop missing Bomb King. I don't know why I am. My aim has fallen apart this match for some reason. <laughs> I think it's a sign of play too much Paladins for the day. I should really stop after this last game. At least I can take solace in the fact that we're guaranteed a win because their comp is so bad. Let's just group up and actually claim our victory. Alright. Uh, I will go for an overtime touch soon. I just want my team to be up here first. Alright, let's go for it. Boom. I'm dead. Okay. Well, I got the kill. I got us overtime. So, go take the victory team. Kill that BK. There you go. There you go, guys. You got this. Y'all got this. Yo, Willow's popping off. Good stuff. Nyx is the only tank with mobility apart from Torv. Hello, are we just going to forget Inara? <laughs> Poor Inara. Unless you use a card, of course. By default, she has no mobility. Hello. Do you like death? I hope you do. Ah, I'm dead. Okay. What are you jumping at me for, Natazi? I was already 632 HP because of Drogos. Yeah, Atlas has mobility. He can rewind himself. It's kind of a reverse mobility. It allows him to push in by just walking at them. And then if he gets in over his head, he can, you know, teleport back. It's kind of like, uh, it's sort of similar to Wormhole or Talus' Rune of Travel, you know? Okay, I can kill the bot successfully. Let's go. I hear Drogos. Oh, he's so far away. The only reason this game will go 3-3 three three if it does is because the layout of the map just naturally makes every match go 3-3. Three three. Are you really trying to ult me? That's not something that works. I'm Vatu. Please. Just because you said I can't flank you. Get double ulted. That was so unnecessary. But I'm proving a point. Gotcha. Now run away. Ah, uh, she still had an angle behind the ice block. I thought I was safe. Thought I could wait for a dash, but I just couldn't. Let's get Master Riding 3. I'm gonna try a Blood Bath. Bleh. Blood Bath play. Blood Blath play. There you go. <laughs> Group up. Careful there, Damba. Wait, that's done me. Hello? 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 That did not have line of sight. Okay. Grumpy bomb bug. Woo. Hmm. Love dying for no reason. At least I ended up dying. And I can rush back in. Beauty of Master Riding 3. Come here. Boom. Fifteen seconds remain. Where did he go? Okay, he's dead. Take you out real quick. Now I'm going to take the Tyra kill that's rightfully mine. Excuse you! That's mine. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna push it through this time. Don't even leave spawn, guys. Don't do it. I can stand on your ledge. Hee <laughs> hee. Nyx can fly in the trailer, but not in game. Yeah, I know. Lilith has a way cooler movement ability in the trailer than she has in game, which is also a real shame. She was gonna have, like, Moira fade. 
something like that. But no, we got a generic leap instead. Convo to at the same time, man. Yeah, that's what you get for challenging me. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. There. Shouldn't have said anything. And now I'm gonna go flank you and kill you again. Just for funsies. Five, four, three, two, All right, let's go in. One. Let's put the enemies out of their misery. Don't forget to report Betty at the end of the match either for leaving. She has had 10 minutes to come back and she has not done so. That's a report. That's a court marshaling. Movement ult. What the heck killed me? Oh, he had a whole salvo on me. What the heck? Jeez. Yo, thank you so much for the thousand bits. I appreciate that, man. Awesome. Wow, everyone died. Okay. <laughs> Let's regroup here. Let's focus up. We're getting sloppy. Alright, BK's up here. They don't know I'm here, though. Wait! Ah, hello! Don't look at the screen. Don't screen peek. Doxing my location, man. Alright, Drobus is gonna have touch. Alright, let me ambush to him now. Shadow bombs. I missed. I missed again. Okay. Kill him. Stop messing around. Are you kidding me? Nice healing. Random grenade. Not even thrown for me. Manages to kill me. And it's all because of my incompetence of killing bunking. Alright, where's that Vic? Is he still in our back line? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. He's down here, isn't he? No, he's over here. Die. There. Good. Pause and reloading. Oh, sorry, Damba. Okay. Gotcha. And GG. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I've played Paladins for too long today. We're getting a little too sloppy. So, I think we're going to call it here. Welcome to our timeline. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Why did you raid me? I was literally just about to end stream. Now I have to do one more. Oh no. Why did you do this? Why did you do this? <laughs> Fine, I'll do one more. Whatever. Fine. I was gonna end stream. If this match goes horribly, it's your fault. I just want you to know. I just want you to know that. How did I kill you with that grenade? I don't know. I, I totally messed up the fight versus Bomb King, then I dashed into it. <sighs> Vatu grind never stops. Siege. Yep. Okay, Frog Isle. Nice open map. Good for omnipresence. Change what you will. Have you come we'll go to back to the mayhem skin. Truth? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Problem is, I'm getting sloppy. I've played Paladins for too long. Not super sweaty today. It's been... It, it's been reasonably cool. It's starting to cool down a little bit. 25 degrees. That's much lower than 30. Yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there's a reason I only stream about three to four hours long. Uh. Alright. Oh, they have Leon? Gross. I don't want to fight that. Okay. Well. Hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, I don't have Corvus privilege. I was low-key kind of hoping I would. But oh well. Can't expect to have that every match. You just played against a team with no support or no tank. And a bot. It wasn't a high note. Now yeah, but I'm not ending off on a high note. I'm just ending off, period. You know. Go uh, get some dinner and uh, work on a video and, I don't know. Chillax, because I spent most of my day yesterday doing a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Now you have con shot privilege. Oh, yeah, I have double tank privilege. Let's go. I do like our cop. Um, so yeah, let's just win. Let's get armor plating, let's just win. Alright, anything scary? Everyone dies! Okay, thank you for telling me that I don't have to worry about you because you're playing a useless talent. Eminence, that's annoying. Sacrifice, oh that's really annoying. 
and Relentless Go Presence. Okay. So that is going to be a pretty tough team fight. Let's go to the right. Whoa, can we not do this right now, Omen? Ah, oh, man, I'm half health already. Yeah, I can't push that right now. Not like that. Maybe I can do this? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just ambush back here. We're winning off Cap right now. I can take that Omen. He was not playing smartly. Ooh. You're out of position, too. I can kill you. I need healing. Oh. Ambush to Io. What a lovely ability this character has. I have ult, so I can play a bit more aggro right now. I think I'm going to go hunt Vora. Okay, she's gone. Change of plans. How about... I hunt Leon. There we go. Decisive pick. I don't have dashes. What am I doing? I don't like being up this far. Let me go back to the point. <laughs> no one's capping. Do I have to cap this right now? <laughs> okay, I guess I will. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, Io, you can take that. I don't want to be point tank Vatsu anymore. Feels wrong. Yeah, you're not getting away with that. Alright, you've got an Io pocket. I do not win that. The key with Vatu, the ultimate advantage he has. It's not his burst combo, it's not his CC, it's the fact he can pick his fights. So if you see a fight you can't win, just back out. Like that, I can't win that fight. Just back out, five head. <laughs> uh, no. 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 <laughs> I wanted to ambush to Khan. And I ambushed to a Zahn. Mm. I need to end stream. I need to end stream. This is way too sloppy. <laughs> <sighs> okay, hello. Dude, you don't have sacrifice up? Foolish mistake. I'm just gonna stun you for the heck of it. Kill Vora? Die, but I mean, we got picks. Azan's forced to run away. Tanks are out here. They should be able to win right now. You win this. Kill Leon. Yeah. Push that through. Show the power of tanks. Show why I put almost every tank in the game in A tier. Go. Okay, a bit of a slower fight. That's fine. Where the heck? Okay, there she is. There we go. Finish that off. Alright, Io, I know you're here. I have Shadow Bombs. Alright, now where did Luna go? Whoa. Wait, what the heck? Okay, I tried to dash twice out of the grip and it wouldn't let me. But also, apparently, I guess if he's stunned, it doesn't cancel the grip. And then I died to the damage of the grip. That was a really weird interaction. Okay, group up. We almost pushed it in. We're gonna have one more overtime touch. I will guarantee that. Seconds remaining. So let's just wait a smidge. Nine, eight, seven, there we go, six, dancing around a little five, bit. Four, three, I got two, stunned directly one. on point. Okay, time to back up. Overtime. We got the overtime touch. Proc sacrifice, so now we can go and hunt her. Well, Super vulnerable. Alright, let's take you down. She flicked it! No! And I didn't stun her either. An ult for an ult, but her ult wins. Inara's gonna kill that, though. And we're gonna push it through. Go, tanks. Tanks stay winning. Look at that, Inara Khan. They're gonna have more kills than me at the end of this match. Let's go. What is Io meant to do against Vatu? A lot, actually. So, first of all, because she's playing Sacrifice, if I kill her, she teleports back to the dog. And lives. Second of all... She can tag me with a regular weapon shot and have Luna go and stun me. And the stun is auto-aim. So, more times than not, it will hit. Third thing, she can use her ult. She gains immunity frames, and if she successfully hits me with it, 
I will take a thousand damage and get stunned. So, a lot of counterplay, actually. You just have to hit your shots. But that's what makes Io generally pretty strong against flanks, because she has a lot of tools at her disposal. The last thing she can do, it's a bit more subtle, and a bit harder to do against Vatu, because he's more vertical in terms of his mobility. But uh, he, yeah, you can also body block some shots with Luna uh, if you set it up properly. So, good to remember that as well. All right, proc sacrifice. Now maybe Khan can get her, or I can get her. I got stunned. I'm probably going to die back here. Whoa, didn't expect it to be Io, though. She jumped over me. Yeesh. Uh. So yeah, that's what Io can do against Vatu, you know? Damage. Yay. Sacrifice. If she wasn't playing Sacrifice, that would have been just a straight kill at the start of the fight. Easy, done, and dusted. I don't want to fight her right now. Uh, let me ambush you. Oh, you didn't get overtime touch. Dang it. Unlucky. Alright, guess we're going to have to... Yeah, defend now. Boom, and they both fall down. Stunnage, you don't have ult for it that time. You have an IO pocket, though, but it's not enough. There we go. Thank you for the heals. Uh... Oh, that void grip. I got him, though. And he sent me over the wall. Hello, sir. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I uh, don't know what I'm doing right now, but we are pushing them back pretty well. I don't want to play too far up, because honestly, uh, like, I'll probably just die if I get too close to their spawn, you know? They'll dogpile me. Uh-oh. I might actually not be fine here. Yeah, I'm not fine. I don't have cooldowns. Wow. It might be worth getting a bit of Unbound for the Void Grip, Cripple, Stuns. Yeah, I'll do it. Crazy. You wanna throw down? Yep. Trash Talent? Uh, what are we talking about? On unerring, you would have killed that IO. Yeah, that's just a skill issue. Wait, are you trying to say Omnipresence is a Trash Talent? No, it's not. If you think Omnipresence is trash, you are the one suffering from skill issue. <laughs> if you're able to hit Shadow Bombs consistently, then there isn't actually a reason to pick on Aerie. Because it doesn't make them do more damage or anything. It just makes them easier to hit. But like against that Vora right now, I hit my Shadow Bombs, I don't need an Aerie. And I can make more plays by teleporting to my team, teleporting to enemies more quickly, doing the double teleport tech with Omnipresence. Ah. I'm out of here. <laughs> I got an extra dash. Let's go. Worth it. It's a movement ult. <laughs> that was not worth it. I didn't need to do that. I'm just, I don't want to die. <laughs> it's a KD ult. Got him. I didn't need to do that. But guess what? I can teleport back here. And then I can teleport in here, because why the heck not? And I can dash away. Hooray. Gives him a lot of extra movement, which is nice, generally. Or a lot of different things. I'm gonna need skills to get Kronos Man. I need Unbound. I didn't think I did until yeah. late in the game. So I'm a bit late to getting that. Let me look up the win rates for them. <laughs> Paladins, stats, champions, win rates for talents. Roll, gotcha diamond. Right, no, not roll. Seconds. Rank. Rank, diamond grandmaster. Champion Vatu. Five, four, three, okay. Two, so they all have one. roughly a 60% spread. 58% on Omnipresence, 66 on Unerring, 64 on Enveloping Shadows. That's actually seen great success. But yeah, just because it's not like hard meta doesn't mean you can't play it well. It's still, you know, Vatu in general is just super good. A 58% win rate is nothing to scoff at. You want to talk about trash talents? Talk about the talents that have a sub 50 win rate. I mean, that, that's a trash talent right there, you know? Like, uh, I don't know. What's Deep Roots win rate right now? It got reworked, but still, nobody's playing it. Or, uh... 
Oh, my brain is glitching. What's what's the win rate of uh, Eternal right now? That piece of garbage talent that no one should ever play ever. Those are trash talents. He's so low! Hey, there you go, Khan. Good stuff. Alright. Oh, she's looking for a son. Stop that. And you stop that too. What is going on right now, Cora? You're not winning this game. Boom. Alright, get stunned so I can get my ammo back. Oh, crap. They don't respawn. I think we got it, though. They don't have touch, right? Yeah, there we go. GG's. One step closer to this realm's truth. Why don't you display by patch? What do you mean? Like, stats by patch? That's not a function that the Idobot has. So, yeah, I can't do that. I would have to, like, manually get logs of it myself, but that's just more effort than it's worth. Okay, well, GG's. 15 and 7. <laughs> guys, Omnipresence is trash, can't you tell? <laughs> guys, guys, can't you tell Omnipresence is trash, by the way? Every single match today played Omnipresence. Got, like, a 90% win rate. <laughs> it's so bad, guys. It's so bad. Nah, man. Vatu in general is just good. You should play the talent that you find you get the most fun and the most value out of. If you need the crutch of unerring, go for it. And you know what? Against highly mobile champions, it's good. If you want to play Enveloping Shadows, it got buffed. Go for it. Get more dashes. If you want to play Omnipresence, go for it. Get all that extra mobility. Does not matter. Vatu is still the best keyboard and mouse flank regardless. His win rate is phenomenal. Alright, I'm going to end here. I said I was going to end last match, and then we got raided, so I played one more match for the Raiders, but we are going to end off now. So if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to follow me on Twitch, check out the YouTube channel, the Discord server, the VODs channel, all the things in the About section down below. And of course, if you want to support the stream, keep me doing what I'm doing, keep the videos coming, then I would appreciate all your support, whether it be from subscribing on Twitch, buying crystals at the Nexus, uh, donating, or getting a membership on YouTube, so many ways to support, and I appreciate them all. But let's pay the raid forward now, and I guess let's raid Nerd, my usual raid. There we go. So yeah, thank you guys all very, very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.